Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for waiting. Ugh. <laughs> Trying to get all that situated. Um, sorry for the delay. There was quite a bit I needed to set up. It's been a long time uh, since I was able to be live, so everything was like, oof, like that. Been a little um, out of place. <laughs> so that's all good. And that's all set. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Does the volume sound okay? Uh, let me know if the fan in the background is very loud. Um, I do have it on at the moment because it is hot. Um, we've been having a lot of uh, major heat warnings. Um, and it's just been... Um, we have had to be careful how high we put our AC. So that's always fun. Um this out. Well, I hope you all been. Volume is good. Hard to tell about the fan. I'm right by it. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Just let me know as it goes. Um, if it's overpowering my volume and stuff. Um, I normally would turn it off by now. Um, but yeah, I kind of need it. <laughs> um, okay. That's all set. I found an old photo of my guide of what I had in mind for this commission. And give me a second. Okay. So, thank you everybody for waiting. I hope you all have been having a really good week so far. Uh, thank you for being patient with me uh, as I was unable to stream on Monday. Um, so normally on Mondays would, would be our crochet stream, but unfortunately that uh, migraines decided to happen and it's been really bad lately. Um, super, super lightheaded and just nauseous and just it's been a crazy uh, past couple of weeks, so thank you for being patient with my spotty schedule. Um, so yes, today we will be working on a commission. Um, I have an example of what this commission will look like. Um, we'll be making a leaf bag, but with a mushroom theme. So here is, um, whoops, let me see. This is like one of them. Commission night. <laughs> I forgot about that emote. That's so good. <laughs> Wrong emote, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh dang. <laughs> he really work in that that uh, turkey leg there. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, it's, except it'll be a little bit smaller. This one was my first one, and it's it's pretty a pretty honking big bag. Um, I sewed the zipper on and everything, and it wasn't until after I sewed everything that I realized I used the wrong colored zipper, so I might have to undo this one and replace it with the one that was supposed to be uh, used for this project, so that's fun! <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm really excited to get this one going. Um, we'll be going, instead of this, this uh, color palette, we'll be going for a mushroom color palette. So we'll be doing a uh, red and a sort of like beige, you know, cream color. Super, super excited. Um, let's see. Except I got really big <laughs> yarn for it. So I don't think it will be fitting at all in my little uh, yarn box. My yarn box is like <laughs> that big, so. <laughs> um, let me switch the camera here. There we go. Okay, so I have my little guide here. Hopefully I remember what I did. It's been a long time since I worked on these guys. I've mainly just been sewing them up and getting them all together um, and obviously working on other projects in the meantime. Um, luckily this one's all good to go with that bit. I think I could just put it that there. So this will have a red uh, front and back a uh, leaf base and uh, cream colored sides, just like the different color palette for this one. So 
let's get that started. I'm gonna need my paper clips because I don't have one of those fancy clips that people use when they crochet. <laughs> Someone did tell me that like, you know, you can always use paper clips. I was like, lifesaver. <laughs> okay, so rows of 10. Let's get started. It might be a little rocky start just because I'm trying to remember what I did with it, but hopefully we will get this treated. I think it's a single stitch, so. How have you all been doing today? I hope you've been having a really good day so far. Um, I've been uh, pretty productive today. It felt really, really nice, especially after being so, like, eh. Oh, I'm sorry, Daisy. I know you've been having it rough today. I'm sorry. So proud of you. Thank you! It's been so frustrating. Um, just being really like wobbly on my feet and just been like, I've been having a really hard time balancing. Um, and it comes in ran random because sometimes I'm fine, I can walk and be okay. Other times, you know, I'm just kind of just stuck on the couch without like, you know, Daisy to help me get from point A to point B. Um, so it felt really good today being able to, you know, tidy up. I cleaned up some stuff um, <laughs> that Atsu has been getting into, so I've been able to, like, tidy that up and um, just do a couple of good, uh, a couple of good chores around the house, and that felt really, really good. Um, where is this? kind of like hidden with the fuzz. So I was really, really excited. I was like, if this if this uh, energy and lack of uh, migraine stays, I could stream tonight. And I was so excited. So here you go. Hey. <laughs> there you go. That's fine. I'm so excited to start this commission. Um, I ordered the mushroom fabric. I forgot to grab it to show it to you guys. Maybe next time as we progress with this commission. Because um, the inside of this bag, uh, at least this one was a solid color, but this uh, person specifically asked for a mushroom fabric. Um, I went to Joanne's and I couldn't find it. And I was like, so I had to order one. But luckily I found one and it arrived um, in good condition. It looked like. Um, so I'm super excited to use it. And I love this red. This red is like probably one of my favorites. A really, really bright ruby red. The other day I had to hide some of the um, parts that are part of this bag because uh, Hatsu cut into them and he was like, ooh, what is this? Beastly, hey, let's go. Biodegradable packaging and leaf bags. Oh, you saw! Thank you so much again, uh, <laughs> Beastly, for, um, I'm assuming it was you, for signing up for my Patreon. You were, you were such a sweetie. I really, really hope you'll like uh, this month's uh, stuff. My uh, pride theme bookmarks and uh, my octopus sticker. Uh, yeah, I was super excited. I was like, 
it was kind of hard finding a right packaging for my stuff because I always go with my uh, with the post office's packaging and because I was like well yeah support your local post office and I was fine with that but after a while I'm like I don't know I feel like I need to put a little more effort into making my stuff look a little nicer but I didn't want to pick something you can't recycle or you know so I was just like oh, okay you know so I found the, those uh, packaging I'm like oh biodegradable like heck yeah <laughs> So anybody who's been interested, um, I still have, um, you can still sign up. I will be shipping everything towards the end of the month. You can sign up for my Patreon. Um, I will be having, this month's theme is, uh, Pride Month. So, um, I hand paint some Pride bookmarks. And for, if you sign up for, um, the next tier, oops, this is like Daisy dropped something. Um, <laughs> it's okay! <laughs> Uh, I have, like, ink drawings with some pride theme on it. I appreciate that. I prefer to recycle. Oh, yay! I'm glad! <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm like, like, because I almost went with, like, a bright, like, brighter colored packaging, and I'm like, I think you can recycle, because recycle, it's technically, you know, um, still cardboard. But I wasn't sure. I didn't see anything. Uh, I was like, you know what? Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> It takes a lot of like I I was just like I would I want to especially like because I um, watch TikToks of people like package their products and they do really cute and really nice. I don't know what it is with me. I have a really hard time being able to do that. Okay. Um, just that energy, the the spoons to be able to like. I guess have everything look Instagram perfect, you know, picture perfect. Um, because I, I have ideas of what I like to do. Um, when it comes down to it, it's like, oof, you know, and not to mention budget. <laughs> Making sure I have the budget for nicer stuff. <laughs> so I'm glad I found these. These are affordable and biodegradable packaging. I don't remember the company's name, unfortunately. Um, I, I have the box, I just the top of my head, I just can't remember it. <laughs> so yeah, I was so bummed when I realized I used the wrong zipper for this bag. I had a dark green zipper and for some reason my mind told me this gray was the same color as this one, so I was like, oh yeah! And I have the strap already, you know, so I can sew it and everything, and it was about to be done. And then I was organizing my crafting drawers when I found it, and I'm like... <sighs> you know, one of those moments where you're just like, oh gosh, like, what did I do? <laughs> we'll see when I have the energy to undo all this sewing, though. I sewed it so neatly, too. I hand sew everything. I don't have, like, a proper sewing machine. Unless you count the little, uh, kitty ones. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're fine! <laughs> it's like Daisy's doing some stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Um. It's for another bag and I just mistook it. I'm like, well darn it. <laughs> Ten rows of this increasing it says two, 
two, three, four. Oh yeah, we barely there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so satisfying once you have all the pieces too for projects like this and you just start putting it together um like sewing it all together and combining it and everything just like solidified into one the one project you've been working on for so long and to see it almost complete it's like oh <laughs> i bet uh any crafters out there you guys know how it's like frustrating but so relatable how you have more than one project of like at a time and how long it takes to finish that said project <laughs> it's like oof. okay i'm back internet did a death <laughs> welcome back beastly no worries. Our internet's been kind of spotty lately. It's like, oh. The same. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. It's like, okay, like. It's a little frustrating. Um, because I would be like trying to upload on YouTube and it'd just be like, took a long time. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, my last, uh, like, why do I pay for this and I remember YouTube? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like I don't watch cable I just like all my stuff is on YouTube I watch YouTube um basically um <laughs> it's like yeah without internet would kind of suck um oh yeah speaking of YouTube oh my gosh I was so frustrated so last week it was like nothing but migraines right it was pretty bad um and but I told myself, oh yeah, I I need to upload um, my video for Saturday, last Saturday. I don't watch shows, it's random stuff on YouTube. Yeah, same. <laughs> what is on my arm? Oh, that's right, I forgot. Um, yeah, I watch a lot of uh, Let's Plays. Um, and uh, yeah, mainly a lot of Let's Plays. <laughs> like Markiplier and stuff, you know. Can definitely relate to migraines. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's said almost every day. Um, it sucks. But, um, I managed to, among the fogginess, I managed to get a video, um, basically the process of uploading it. And I was all like, okay, this is good. It's gonna, it takes a long time. It really does. It takes like all day, um, to get one video uploaded. And I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, sweet, 98%. I'm like, oh, that's right, I need to make my uh, thumbnail. So I was browsing through um, the video, and I'm like, hmm, which screenshot should I use for this? And then I'm like, this is kind of choppy, like, what, what's going on with that? And I looked, and I was like, oh, that's right. This is the stream where my internet was spotty, so the stream was lagging and it was choppy and I didn't realize that when I downloaded it and I saved it rendered it and everything and I'm just like oh at 98% did I realize that it was that was the case so I stopped the upload and I just like I, I I'm done I don't have anything for this Saturday just I miss a week fine <laughs> So that was the, that was why there was nothing for this Saturday. Um, I totally forgot about that spotty stream, which sucks because it was the stream I worked on the mushroom coasters. Um, dang it. <laughs> um, 
But I hope uh, after tonight's stream, I can start the process of uploading one. Uh, another one for this Saturday. It just takes a long time, because our Wi-Fi is just chug a Meh. <laughs> Tame, uh, take care of yourself. Aw, thank you, Beastly. Yeah, I've been trying to trying to do that. Um, it's just been so exhausting. Like, been I've been sleeping a lot, but at the same time, not sleeping a lot because it's like I can't sleep when I'm in pain. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm just laying there, like, oh, we would feel bad if you didn't. Thank you. You're so sweet. I can't thank you guys enough for being very, very patient as I go through the motion of of all that. Some days are more intolerable than others, for sure. Um, just, uh, I've been having to cancel plans, too, because of that, and just like... I hope to get some... Uh, get it taken care of soon, I don't know, it just takes a long time, you know, like, getting, like, appointments set up and getting all that stuff getting to be seen and just, like, it just takes a while to get all that situated. Um, so, who knows what that will happen with that, um, but, <laughs> it doesn't, like, I was gonna say it doesn't stop me from crafting, but I was like, actually, yeah, it did. <laughs> I barely touched uh, my crochet stuff last week or anything. Like, I just kind of sat there on the couch, like, kind of zoned out. Felt like a zombie. Um, not migraine talk. Um... We finally were able to get Hatsu uh, his adult vest. Oops, not there. Um, we got him a kitten, like, vest, collar, and leash, like a whole thing, matching set. Um, and he quickly outgrew the kitty vest. Uh, the kitten collar, we were able to ex uh, expand it uh, almost all the way <laughs> for it to fit. Um, so we finally got... Um, an adult-sized one, and we've been vest training him, and he's been so good. A little stubborn, he will like flop on his back and just be like, "Why?" But been rewarding him with treats, telling him he's a good boy. Um, I mean, there's not a lot of rush. Hi, Ali. How's it going? I can count on one hand the people I generally want to support. <laughs> You're so sweet, yo. <laughs> Hatsune vest. I melt. That's <laughs> so cute. Um. He, like, mainly has been, like, loafing, kind of, like, mm, like, ugh, fine. But he's been, I've been working with him, like, trying to get him to walk and get used to it. Been doing, like, short spurts every day. I don't want to overwhelm him, for sure. How are you doing, Allie? Lovely to see you. I heard you guys got your internet back. Hey! <laughs> okay. Um. But, yeah. We finally got him in adult size. I was really, uh, happy. Because, like, we want to be able to, um... Obviously not right now, that's why I said we have some time, because it's way too hot outside. Um, but we want to be able to take them with us, you know, like car rides and stuff like that. Um, and maybe like, you know, like when we go to the pet store um, to get a new litter and stuff, I want to be able to take him. So I'm slowly like training him for that. Plus, like, if we ever have to do, like, a road trip or, I don't know, like, like days in, I travel, but still. <laughs> we want to make sure he's good for any reason if we ever have to put a leash on him, that he'd be okay. Uh, much better now that I'm home with Shadow. I got uh, promoted at work, and that's been super fun. I roll. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, congratulations to your promotion, but it sounds like it's one of those things where you just more work for you, and I'm sorry. Um... Congratulations, son! <laughs> Aw, well, I'm glad that you're home with Shadow and you guys are doing okay. <laughs> I missed you guys. I missed all of you. It really sucks, like, when I don't stream, it's like, oh, like... I mean, we have Discord still, but, you know, it's not exactly the same. <laughs> 
Sorry, I've been quiet. I was looking for something. Oh, what were you looking for, Daisy? Did you, did you find it? I might be able to help you if I remember where that thing is. I don't know what thing you're looking for, though. But yeah, Hats has been really good with it. Um, right now, just the vest, and then later we'll train him with the leash. Uh, he just quickly outgrew the kitten one. Like, we didn't get to do too much training with it before he just... It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> My 3D games, not sure where they are. Hmm. The 3DS games? Um. I'm trying to remember. I'm guessing you already checked where we normally keep them. They're in the pink uh, boot case in case. Oh, that should be. Check by um, the X Xbox and the. Um, and those, those cubbies. It should be there, if not on the cabinets under. I think I remember moving it slightly for, for dusting, and I just. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm loving this red. Hey, you're welcome. I'm glad I remembered. <laughs> I think it happened when I was trying to organize the bookcase and um and the cubbies. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh, today was like organizing, like I was trying to organize stuff again. I'm always like, if I have the spoons, I will always try to organize our cubbies and stuff because it's like Hatsu's a sneaky kitten and he will get in everything. So slowly but surely trying to like put stuff in where he can't knock it over or anything that he could chew, I could put away. Um, and today we had like, <laughs> he almost dropped a vase off the counter. Um, because I was moving it. It was here on this- uh, I have a dresser over here and I decided to move it because I'm like, while I stream, like last time, he'll try to jump up there and play with it. So uh, I moved it to the kitchen real quick and he knocked it over and it almost fell off the counter. Like, oh my gosh. But Daisy had quick reflexes. I grabbed him before he, uh, it just in case it did fall because I thought it actually fell fell and I didn't want him to step on the glass so I grabbed Katsu and Daisy grabbed the vase I was like <laughs> we worked really well together <laughs> um I'm gonna slowly but surely be move uh probably get like plastic vase or something instead because I have them, like, um, holding, unfortunately, fake flowers. I wanted to have real flowers, but since he literally eats everything, um, I don't, I haven't looked into, like, what flowers are okay for him to, like, nom on. Um, but I, the, the flowers I currently have, he's been okay with them. He has been leaving them alone. He kind of knows the area where I put them in is, like, a no-go. You don't touch it. Um, it's basically a spot, um, I was gonna say, like, ofrenda, but basically, like, in English, like, an altar or something, like, you know, for my loved ones that recently passed away. Um, it's been kind of hard to, like, make sure, like, I want to make sure that there's, like, candles and stuff like that without him eating everything. <laughs> Like, oh my goodness, this child! <laughs> so far, everything's like taped down. I like hardcore taped everything down. Um, so he won't uh, chew on it or bop it over. 
for his safety and for <laughs> the ofrenda's sake, because oh my god. <laughs> We got him uh, to kind of help with his curiosity and a little bit of uh, enrichment. We got him cat grass for the first time. And I don't have any experience with like... Well, because I'm a first time cat mom. Back to me, not Ali. Hi friends! <laughs> oh, hi Shadow! Hello, hello! <laughs> How are you, friend? Guess what I'm working on! <laughs> um... I was saying, oh yeah, so since I'm a first time cat mom, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure, like, oh, how is, uh, is it with, like, uh, I'm just gonna leave that. Potential spam call, my, mm, okay. <laughs> how many boos? Hello, hello! I know, I'm hype, oh! <laughs> I was so excited to work on it. I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you guys? How many boos and shadow? How are you? I already forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, the cat grass. He's been pretty good with it. Um I think it's been helping keeping him like, you know. Um, a little something safe for him to nom and play with, and he's been pretty good with it. It's kind of funny, because, like, I would take it out, and, oh, the meows I would get, like, for him to be like, like, yes, my treat! <laughs> Just popping in for a bit. Got my wisdom teeth. Oh, pulled today, so I'm eh, I'm so sorry. I don't miss- I had my wisdom teeth pulled, too, and it was the worst. It doesn't help that my pain tolerance is so low. I'm so sorry. Like, I totally understand if you just dip in real quick and then you go rest. It's completely understandable. I hope it, uh, it's okay and it's a quick, quick uh, healing process. <laughs> Congrats on successfully becoming uh, less wise. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <Not sure. laughs> Uh, jokes on you. <laughs> they let me keep two of them. I'm still half wise. Oh, I see what you guys mean. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember if I got all of them removed or if it's just like the top uh, wisdom teeth for me. I might have been just the top. I really, really hope I got all four of them. I don't remember. <laughs> it, was, it was a while ago. So I do not remember, but gosh, I hope for pain's sake and I don't have to get this done again. I hope it was just the- I hope it was all of them. <laughs> My wisdom teeth came out like butter and I had a super speedy recovery. So I have little words of support other than you got this. <laughs> Lucky. Mine were so high up that they had to- uh, put me under because they were so close to my nasal passages, apparently. Like, they were, like, really up there. I was like, oh, fun. And it was a, it was a while with recovery. Mine have not been pulled yet. Not excited. Hopefully you don't need to. I mean, I think from what I've heard, it's not always necessary. Like, some people, like, they can just go on without having to have theirs pulled. Mine were, um, hurting me, so I had to get them pulled. I just have them do all four. I'm tired of having to go in for pain because of them. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I- gosh, I, I really do not remember. I hope I got all four done. Because, like, that, those, uh, like, you know, taking care of myself, like, doing the rinses and stuff like that, I, my memory is a little spotty because of the pain. Um, so I don't remember if I was, like, doing it for all four four, you know? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I 
Like, top right was halfway out, and top left was out when- Rest while you can. Take advantage of that. <laughs> My pain tolerance is crazy. Really? Oh, lucky. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Um, you can handle how many boobs. Like, if if you honestly wake up tomorrow and you're like, yeah, I'm fine. I don't feel anything. You do you. I was, like, stuck in bed, like, in pain and nauseous, um, for a while. <laughs> um, you all should know me well enough by now. I did it for two songs, one trio, one solo. The trio went to state, the solo did not, shocker. I don't think it affected my healing at all. I was just a whole chipmunk after it happened. Just don't. Take the rest day for- for brain stuff. Allie. Oh my goodness, Allie. Oh. Well, you know, congrats, though, on, like, the trio going to stay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pain tolerance is alright. I'm just a baby with needles. So, being put under was emotional for no reason. No, not no reason. You're totally fine. I... I realize I'm kind of with needles. Mainly with, uh, getting my blood drawn. Um, so when I had to be put under and I had to the, the IV put in me, Oh my gosh, did it hurt? And I was like crying and like emotional and I was like, <laughs> oh, I hate this. <laughs> but tattoos are a different story. <laughs> tattoos are more like, I think it's like, one, it's something you actually want <laughs> rather than like need. And then um, more likely it's like you consented more for that one rather than the other stuff. The other stuff you probably had no choice. <laughs> I fractured a wrist and thought it was a sprain. Needles fascinate <laughs> You fractured- Wow. Congrats, though, on being able to just, like, not really feel it. <laughs> and A. Not everyone's scared of needles. And for those of you who are, you're totally fine if you are. Um, and if you're not, then <laughs> good on you. I'm I'm pretty weak with pain, but at the same time, like I'm also kind of used to it. Like, I would get like, I thought the migraines were just a headache because I was like, wow, I'm getting these every day. Like, wow, this sucks. And I finally got to see a doctor and she's like, you have migraines. Like, that's all migraines. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> they did an x ray because I broke my finger and it healed weird. Now it's poppy when I move it. Oh, no. <laughs> pop, pop. 
I smell the basil. Are you chewing on the basil? It sounds like he's chewing on the basil. I would thought I was in the middle eight, but I never sorry did eight, I guess not. The heck? So this is like wide. Hi, Hatsu! Did you just take a heck and numb? <laughs> you jump. Go ahead. He's unsure what to do. <laughs> Although I've gotten, uh, oh, there he goes. A lot of better with needles as I've gotten older. Uh, I used to have doctors said to hold me down when I was a kid getting blood work done. Oh, I'm sorry. Absolutely no blame the medical shows I watched as a kid. Oh, no! <laughs> Ace by Yatsu! Where did he even go? Probably under the bed. Unless you guys saw him leave. I don't know. No, I, I had to recently get blood work done, and I was, like, grasping Daisy's hand for, like, dear life, and, like, <laughs> trying not to, like, hyperventilate. <laughs> This is like extra wide. Just the road to 10. Or was I increasing this wrong? It's been so long. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Hold on. Don't mind me. I am gonna be counting. I luckily I took a photo and like of a and I wrote some notes of how I made these guys. Those should be fine, right? Wait, that's as big as this one. That's big. I had uh, a mold removed from my back because it was a funky mold, tested it for cancer, negative, that's good. Um, but I got five little, I don't know, little cane shots and my dad laughed as I flinched at each one. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with flinching, I'm sorry I got laughed at for that. I'm scared of unconsciousness, don't like going under, I freak out. Uh, and yeah, I'm glad it was negative, I agree. Um, yeah, I... Being go uh, going under terrifies me, but I think I'm more terrified of feeling the pain, so I'm totally fine. Like, yeah, put me under. <laughs> I don't like needles either, yet I'm fully vaccinated. <laughs> you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It sucks and it's scary, but, you know, good f good on you for being fully vaccinated. Um, and sometimes, yeah, like, at least getting blood drawn or, like, we have to have, some, like, a surgery of some sort. <laughs> Little cane is a numbing agent. Makes me not feel the scalpel cutting my flesh. Ah! <laughs> Whenever I had to get numbed for any, like, you know, dental work or whatever, I still felt everything. Like, that's why I was like, yes! Like, they're like, we're gonna have to put you under because of the way how high your wisdom teeth are before they could finish. I'm like, yep, go for it. I'm good. I usually feel everything at the dentist, even though they numb the area. Like, mm -mm, I don't want to feel any of this. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking vaccinations, I feel like the necessity behind it far be outweighs the needle fear. True. <laughs> Vaccination squad. Much rather be safe and deal with a little needle stab. Yo. Yeah, yeah, same. I'm like, every time I got my vaccination, I would just like grip Daisy's hand and just be like, just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. <laughs> Excuse me, Hasu. Please don't dig in my trash can. <laughs> He's like, what is this? Okay, so this is clearly too big, so now I'm just like, look at that, look at that. Child. Hold on, he knocked over my trash can. <laughs> what are you doing?
He looked at me like, what? I was just looking. <laughs> I spent too much time with my grandpa to not be vaccinated. Oh, Good on you guys for getting your vaccination. I'm proud of you guys. Yeah, rather to be take care of yourself and others. Very important. Okay, what the heck did I do? Where is it? I'm gonna keep going and we'll see how it goes. Maybe it just looks extra wide because I haven't like figured it out yet. Uh, the first time I tried to get my wisdom teeth out, I opted for not being put to sleep, but the numbing agent made me start gagging. They were like, yeah, no, you definitely need to sleep. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Probably because it all, like does have to go all the way back there. So yeah, I'm sorry. Ooh. He's a little upset because I took away all the goodies that he loves to chew on. Like, uh, certain cords from a certain lamp. <laughs> but thankfully that sleep felt like really quick. The last thing I remember is a dentist commenting on my space tattoo and asking what my favorite planet was and then I woke up and I started crying for some reason. Oh no! When the choices in a video game don't change anything. <laughs> But we're Gucci, hey! <laughs> That's how I felt. Like they had me count, and I'm like one, two, and I like you know went under, and then before I know it, I woke up and like I blur like very like faintly remember sitting in like a wheelchair and then talking to my mom and all like like saying like yeah yeah they did good and all that stuff, and then like closing my eyes, opening my eyes. Oh, I'm in a car. Closing my eyes. Wait, opening up, I'm like, I'm in my bed, like, what? <laughs> I don't even remember if they asked me to count. <laughs> it's no joke, like, dang. I'm glad it was like that, though, because it's like, yeah, I didn't feel a thing until, obviously, I woke up and the pain medication wore off. Um, <laughs> gosh, man. Alright, certain uh, procedures fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it's done. I'm proud of you guys for whatever you ha you did what you had to do. And hopefully less pain in the future. <laughs> Last I remembered, I was talking about video games. Oh, that's fine. My doctor seemed like, or dentist or wh whoever, whatever the name um, is, I'm guessing dentist, um, had like... The nurse was kind of mean and very disinterested, and the doctor was kind of just like, just like, all right, here, and just like, didn't even, like, talk to me. <laughs> and I woke up at the end, everything was smooth. Hey, that's good. <laughs> I still think... I hesitate in adding more to this. Like, I feel like this is already, like, a 10. Um, I hesitate to make it wider. Like, why did I put 10? Regular. Uh, the biggest fear I have with these things, though, is waking up during the procedure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My doctors just did their jobs. No real commerce or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I also kind of get it because it's like, you know, it's, it's like a procedure. They're kind of just like, you know, just going through the thing. They probably had a long day and I'm just like, okay, I get it, you know. <laughs> um, just, just as long as they're not mean, I'm fine. You know, like, you got a busy day and you get through your stuff. That's fine. <laughs> okay. I hesitate on... Like, what did I do with this? Because it feels- it looks, like, so much wider than it needs to be. Look at that. What the heck did I do? Hmm. 
Oh. Now I remember. Well, you guys, like, be pre like, you guys are... Um, what stream is not my stream without me undoing and redoing a project? <laughs> I had it happen once when I was a kid and getting a tumor removed. Ouch! Um, frogging, yeah. <laughs> I woke up as I finished up and just remember a nurse going, uh-oh, and then doing... And then sometime later, I woke up in the recovery room. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Yeah, frogging, here we go. I almost, like, debated on doing this too, like, um... Not on stream, because I'm like, man, I'm like, I don't remember how to do this, hopefully. Because my notes will be enough. And I won't be like, you know, like, huh, what do I do with this? I would have been uh, scarred for life. No way they would have been able to walk into. Yeah, that's scary. Okay. I don't know how I did it with this one. That's already like kind of was to be for. One, two. I whatever. Just just redo it. Whatever. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Ah, this sucks. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't want to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared of waking up and feeling the pain. Like, yeah, during the process. to go to bed, but I'm gonna leave you up and be lurking. Oh, thank you! I hope you get plenty of rest then. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi! Um, I mean, at the time, I was definitely very drugged and up on pain medication, so it didn't seem like a big deal at the time to me. But still really scary thinking about it, though. Oof, I can imagine. Oi. <laughs> I do remember one of the songs that were playing while I was waiting in the stairway to heaven. I was like, really? That's not ominous at all. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. <laughs> No, I hate when they have a radio station playing and does that. <laughs> okay, I think I alternated between like the sizing. Okay. I only had one surgery a long time ago. I remember nothing. <laughs> but for the best. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I just remember, like, the the pain of the IV and then, yeah, just waking up in little moments. I was scared in the hospital while then I was home <laughs> with a screwed up throat. Oh. It's almost like the intro to like Kingdom Hearts. Sounds like it. 
Hello, Mr. Mal. What you doing back there? <laughs> I had my I had my tonsils removed and kept getting infections. Ouch. I don't say and I don't think infections happen. It's like is it just the type of surgery? Like they just didn't do it very well or something? Or is it just the healing process? It's just it's more susceptible to infections. I've been debating on getting my tonsils removed because I do get like a lot of like swelling. Um But I'm terrified of getting that done. <laughs> Oh, that was a heck of jumpy. <laughs> it's my boy. <laughs> he loves that bin. So I got that bin for uh, Christmas decorations, basically. And I was expecting... Um, I was expecting the needing uh, two bins for Christmas decorations. I only needed the one. Um, so I had that spare one. And in there is all my finished, like, crochet projects and stuff, just so a uh, certain uh, cat would not get into it. But he loves, like, standing on it. <laughs> Infections are a risk with all surgeries. They just happen sometimes. Understandable. Yeah. No, no, the tonsils kept getting infected, so they said it was best removed. Ah! Oh, okay, okay, okay. It really depends on the healing process. And oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, I see. That makes sense, yeah. I love useless organs. Tonsils, the appendix, absolutely <laughs> waste of organ space and for what? <laughs> for future pain, I guess. <laughs> It is what it is. Humans are complex. <laughs> yeah, the only complications I had was being dumb and reopening the holes in my throat. Oh no! I think we're on the right track. This. I think. Gosh, I hope I'm right. <laughs> it ain't a stream, one of my streams, without some frogging, am I right? <laughs> I keep thinking I'm going to do that with my with the teeth being gone. I, I keep uh, talking to the mother-in-law since she's staying until my partner gets home tonight. Oh no! Hopefully that um I mean. They are open right now, but hopefully uh, it's a fast and healing process. Alright, I'll be lurking, got some things to do before bed. Okay, be sleep. thank you for the lurk, friend! Get your stuff done. The appendix is a reservoir of healthy gut bacteria. Used to be messed or used to be used to kickstart that system. If it got too messed up, I think. Ah, the more you know. And we keep conversing because I have a lot to say. That's okay. <laughs> Basket? I don't know how it is. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he loves the laundry basket, it's so cute. One of my 
my teacher said that dry sockets were more painful than giving birth, so I hope you never get that. Oy, yay, yay. Did he get up? <laughs> I hear him. <laughs> Why does this look hella uneven? Oh my gosh, who just got down here? Her pain scale went, uh, passing a gall oh, gallstone, dry socket, then giving birth. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. So, <laughs> what the heck? Trying really hard not to get it for sure. Uh, almost got it once with another two spoon one. I was like, no, stop, please. Ooh. Having a fork shoved in your eye. What the heck happened? But what are you eating? This music is very chill for what the topic is. And what the heck? What the heck is going on with this? I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna pull out because this one's like the size that's too big. Um, I'm gonna grab the one that I'm currently looking at on my phone, like the uh, the actual bag, so I can take a look at it and just like see it in person. She was a cool teacher. Oh, <laughs> sounds like she really been through it. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I will be right back. Hang on tight. What a bat. Was she a badass with an eye patch? Oh my goodness. She sounds like a total badass. Yeah. Okay, I will be right back. Hang on tight. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Hi, Kylie! How's it going? Literally right before I switched back, um, do you see the child? Do, do, do you see the child? He leaped onto my back. 
pounced on me, was like gripping my shirt for dear life, looked at me, had a zoomie, and now he's laying down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> the child. <laughs> I looked at him like, you alright? And I, yeah, I guess he's just chilling. Okay, so I brought this one. This is the size we're basing it on. I have a um, basically a chart my, of notes of what I did on the rows on my phone. But I guess they weren't as clear as I thought, so I'm like, well, let me bring the real thing and compare it, because I don't know what the heck is going on with this. And maybe I could take a look um, at what I was doing. <laughs> How are you, Kylie? Good to see you, friend! Okay, something's up with this row here. Yeah, he's- he's heckin' lounging. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, like, I just, like, sat down real quick, but I'm like, okay, and then just felt like something gripped my shirt, so I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Surprise, it's my kitty! <laughs> oh. There he's over there. <laughs> okay, so, let's take a look-see. Honestly, it looks like I, what I was doing was fine, but I don't know why it was so big. Hi. You gotta take a nap? Yeah, why don't you do that? That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> kitty! My kitty's laying in bed with me. How's your kitty? What's her name? Yeah, that's just on the bed now. He's grooming. Hopefully now he will chill. <laughs> I almost wish I turned on the camera right when he jumped on my back. <laughs> my hands were full. <laughs> I literally just took a sip of water and I'm just like, <laughs> the child. <laughs> Her name is Fertile. That's a cute name. No. What kind of cat is she? How old is she? Goodness, how old is Hatsu now? Okay, I'm just gonna do... I know what I did last time and just see what happens. Birdo up! <laughs> oh wait, did I not do the thing? Oh yeah, no I did not. <laughs> no idea what kind she is, and she is one and a half years old. Her kitten's at eight months old. Oh. Yeah, no worries. It's kind of hard to tell if cats, like, sometimes breed, so you're totally fine. Oh? Pirate thing. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting the songs in Stardew. track of how old Hatsu is. What is that? Wish I could have a cat, but I'm allergic. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shadow do it anyways. No. <laughs> My roommate did get one a few months ago before I moved though. Absolute sweetheart. No. There's allergy meds. I just take regular allergy medicine. It's like I get so sneaky. Okay, so I am one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Yeah, alright. So. <laughs> you know how expensive allergy meds are? Are, all, are they really? Like, I just take, like, basic, basic allergy meds, but, but for cat meds, I don't know. I have a cat, uh, I have cat sit for people, though, so I can't get my cat days in. Aww. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. <laughs> So I may or may not have found the Owl House original soundtrack on Spotify. Really? <gasps> if they don't have all the episodes on Disney Plus, so no spoilers, please. We caught up as far as we could, and we're waiting for them to update more of it. Um, there may or not be spoilers, though. I haven't actually listened to it at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't tell me. I will be waiting until... I usually wait to listen to a full soundtrack until I finish whatever. Um, the series is. Depending on the allergy meds, yeah, they get expensive. I have to get higher strength ones, though, since Benadryl and L the like doesn't do anything for me. Oh, man, that sucks. Do you live closer or further away from me now? <laughs> oh, I forgot. You guys were, like, in the same area. Don't dox yourselves, though. Be careful. <laughs> You're not comfortable sharing. You do not... I still feel like I should do... Oh, hello. You gonna go back to the window? See the desk shaking. And he's back at the window. Technically farther north, but like, by like 10 miles. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing the... extra for this. I mean, I figured today's stream, like, I don't know how much I'll be able to finish because of having to uh, relearn what I did for the uh, these projects. Um, I figured at least it'd be, like, definitely a more so chatting while I try to figure what the heck is going on <laughs> with my projects. <laughs> yeah, congrats on the new place! Yeah, I hope the move is smooth! And I hope you're liking the new place. I love it how my uh, desktop is showing because um, it has like the time and it has the, we the weather and it has like an exclamation point next to it like for the heat warning and every time I look at it I'm like oh, I'm just reminded <laughs> oh, the heat Smooth, yeah, like peanut butter, chunky peanut butter. No! <laughs> no shame if you still have boxes out, by the way. Like, it took Daisy and I so long to fully unpack everything. Even then, we still have a couple of boxes here and there that we just like. Just mainly because there's no room. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad it hasn't really been that warm here. I keep thinking back to the. Uh. PNW summer last year, and I'm. Um. I'm orally content to stay under 70 for a little bit. <laughs> or oh, I'm really content. Oh, okay. Yeah. How the fuck I so worried about your vibe? <laughs> yeah, like, 
It is, to give you a hint, um, 9 p.m. over here, right? 9.15. And the weather right now is 97 degrees. Heat warning. Wow! <laughs> Y'all are unpacked? <laughs> I mean, when we first moved in, not really. It took, it, it took like, so long. That happens? Yeah. <laughs> Take the time you need. You're totally fine. It's uh, only been scorching here one day, and that was yesterday. Ew, 97 degrees. I know. Like, sometimes, Daisy and I, like, we check the weather during the day. Like, like, is it possible to turn down the AC just a smidgy, you know? Because you do have to be careful so our AC doesn't break because of how hot it is. And it's been, like, this past week has been like ugly it's been like 113 111 and it's just like like i look at my weatherboard and it's all red we're in the red and it's just like it's foggy and like 50 here <laughs> you're so lucky <laughs> yeah like i'm like oh my gosh okay let's see let's see weather okay um the lowest it will drop Actually, this is the, the the coldest it'll be in a long time, which will be 78 degrees around 6 a.m. And then it'll just keep climbing back up. It's been like the lowest had been like maybe high 80s lately. So, and it's like 107 tomorrow. That's the high. Then 112. Like it's like. June's the worst with the heat, with summer. Ugh, no, I hate the heat. I love summer for the sunshine, but the heat can just not. <laughs> yeah, the sunshine is beautiful, but like, in this time of the year, I'm never outside. Like, if I can avoid it, I will avoid it. Um, Because it's like, it's that hot where like, even if you're wearing like, I don't always wear sandals outside. Um, because if for some reason your foot slips and it touches the asphalt, ouch but like even like sneakers and all you feel the heat burning through the rubber <laughs> the thermostat says it's 66 oh. one day <laughs> one day i'll move out of this heat oh, one day <laughs> for now i'm just here melt those crocs <laughs> I do not have crocs, but yeah, your crocs, if you have any, will melt. Last year we hit three days in a row of 115, literally couldn't do anything. Exactly! It's like, not safe to be outside. Like, we were- we got, like, um, basically outdoor gear for, like, Katsu, because, like, we wanted to be able to take them to parks and stuff like that. Um, we got a playpen. Um, and a backpack for him and all that. And then we saw the weather and we're like, oh no, we're not putting him through that. We're not putting ourselves through that. Like, oh no. Which sucks. I could tell Hatsu really misses um, the open windows. Because, like, all winter, I don't really turn on the heater because you don't, I honestly, I think you don't need it. Because um, it doesn't really get that cold here. Um, I open up all the windows. Before Hatsu, I opened up, like, them all the way. Now with Hatsu, I had to open him, like, this much so he wouldn't push the screen, because he did. Um, so he wouldn't escape. Um, I'm getting sleepy. I'm gonna shut her down for the night. Oh, no worries, Kylie. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. And get some plenty of sleep. Cuddle with your kitty. Good night. <laughs> um... Yeah, I could tell, like, with the weather change, Hatsu really missed the open windows. He could- I could tell he couldn't understand, like, why I would close it. Because, like, every day I would open it up for a sliver to let in some, um, the best I could, you know, with a very curious climbing kitty, um, to let in some fresh air. And as soon as the weather started warming up, I was like, <sighs> Arnella, evening! How are you? Welcome in! We're literally talking about the weather. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm getting near. Your... 
And now every time Hansu sunbathes by the windowsill, I could tell he doesn't last too long. Because it does get toasty. And he's like literally a toasty kitty. <laughs> like I pet him and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I want to open my windows, but it's so hot out. Oh, I was literally just talking about that. Exactly. I, having four cats, I like to air out when I can. Definitely, yeah. I like, um, I like turning on that fan. I have like an allergy filter with it and I put it on the windowsill and like, like filter out the air the best I could and like, you know, get in some fresh air around the winter time. Cause like I said, I barely turn on the heater. Um, and I could tell Hatsu misses it. <laughs> so now I can't open up my windows. Like I'm like longing for the day I can open up my windows again. Oh, I have like four purifiers in the house. I don't have purifiers. That's the best I got. <laughs> and it's so hot today. Um, I basically, I have that fan going on. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys and you guys don't hear it really. Um, like I can't keep the door closed in the bedroom. Like if I'm in here. Because it's, it was literally, it gets so sweltering hot if I have the computer on. Um, I love the cold. Same. It was 40 out and I just cuddled under the blankets. Oh, so lovely. This one's so lovely. I miss going outside. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it seems like what we were doing previously with the leaf, we were on the right track. It's just the other leaf I had, the, um, the first one. That green one was literally my first try. It's definitely longer and thinner. These are the ones I'm currently making because I, I actually jotted down their sizes and all that are wider, so we probably could have been fine if I just compared the size with this one rather than the other one, but oh well, it's fine. <laughs> uh, it was so hot, we got a heat adver adver uh -huh. adversary warning. We got it too. We got a heat warning for sure. I was just saying the little like icon weather icon on my desktop has an exclamation point and we're in the red. <laughs> Can't hear it over the music. Uh, you're fine. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I was like, should I just turn it off? I'm like, oh, last last stream, it was like, it was hot. It was toasty. <laughs> Today, uh, Mamoru, male cat, wanted to be a snuggle bug while I was sleeping. Yo, I would just per prefer it if he would snuggle me face first instead of buzz butt towards me. <laughs> same, same. Uh, the heat warning on the computer bar. Oh. I'm sorry you have that too, it sucks. <laughs> and also it's kind of funny with the kitty booty. Yeah. That happens to me when I sit on the couch. Um, Hatsu lays by my shoulder. And sometimes he'll put his head on my shoulder. But sometimes he'll just put his butt right there and I'll just be like... My dog does the same, never wants to snuggle facing me, just content to stick his bat butt in my face. <laughs> At the same time, it's like, um, it, you can't also complain at the same time, because it's like, ugh, like, it's like one of those moments where you like fondly roll your eyes, but at the same time you're like, oh. <laughs> Hatsu has been such a cuddle bug lately. He could tell um, with my migraines and all that that I just have not been feeling good. And during the day, like, he normally sleeps on the windowsill, you know, like he sunbathes. Because um, we have, like, thick windowsills. Um, but, yeah, he just been telling, he could tell, I think he could tell I'm not feeling good because he's been, like, um... I, have, I usually put a pillow on my lap, and he's been on my lap, and he's, like, nuzzling my face and, like, purring on me, and it was like... <laughs> Interesting how Automod caught how many boos, but, but not Arendelle's butt. I know! I was like... <laughs> he acts like such an inconvenience when I turn around. <laughs> like, excuse me, I was comfy. <laughs> I'm starting to think you can tell when my blood sugar dips. Oh, Animals are so smart. They really are. My dog must have the meteor butt. <laughs> that that dumpy though. <laughs> Would I have a really hard time waking up? He is so insistent. Oh. Yeah, like, it's been so bad, like, my lightheadedness. Oh, 
my nail just broke. Well, that's fun. <laughs> um, that Daisy's been having to help me walk a little bit here and there. Um, and he would look at me, he's like, is she okay? And then, um, I would sit down, he'd get close to me on my lap and just check in on me. He's been such a sweetie about it. An animal's intuition, man, they, they can tell when you're not feeling good or when you're sad. It was such a sweet part yesterday. Gosh, why did I do this last one so tight? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, if Hatsu puts his butt to my face, I dare not adjust because if I do, he gets so mad. <laughs> he is such a salty kitty. Like, if I, like, decide to do that, like, if he's laying down, I just leave him. I'm like, I'll give you pets if you want pets, but I dare not pick you up. <laughs> I think it has been give me your attention so much the past few days. No, <laughs> animals, especially dogs, can sense things we can't. So they are legit dogs trained to detect blood sugar dipping. I seen that. Yeah, like laying on my chest, she goes face to face. No, yeah, Hatsu's been like basically he would put his his head right here, and it would be purring, and I'd just be like, uh, cause yeah, like I said, when I get really really lightheaded. Um, really nauseous and just so foggy and in so much pain and so he'll just be like right here and just purring and he'll like occasionally put his paw like it touched my face and just would stay there like oh he's been so good my dog's really good at picking up when I'm having major depressive episodes but the rest of my medical problems ha you good oh my gosh <laughs> that's funny you know they all got their own specialties of <laughs> what they can sense and what they can't. <laughs> but I have definitely heard of how uh, how good animals are with making sure, you know. There's a reason why there's a lot of like service animals out there. They could definitely sense it if something's going on and can warn the owner or people around them that's like, you know, like this person's gonna have an episode in a second. Which is why I'm hopefully able to get a service dog at some point uh, to kind of head with both. Where it's hard. No, I totally understand. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm talking okay right now. Like, the last time I streamed, when I had a migraine, I just like, my words were fumbled, I said weird stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not gonna stream when I do that, because I have no filter, and I don't know if anyone can understand me. <laughs> but I hope you get to have your service, uh, service dog. I considered it, um way back when, when I was having uh, mobility issues, but now that I have Hatsu, I'm like, well, I can't because, like, we adopt- we were able to adopt him from a friend because she had a service dog and he doesn't get along with dogs, so <laughs> it's that half-wisdom thing going on. Yeah, no worries. You're recovering. <laughs> oh, I can't function with a migraine. I picked up some nausea-smelling sticks from migraine nausea. There's- those things exist. Oh wonder if that would uh work for me i i literally can't function with a migraine either i had one pretty bad yesterday and i was just literally sitting on the couch just like staring off into space and um i actually had a moment where hatsu hopped on my lap and was like hey like he literally like touched my cheek i was like you okay like hold on come come back to me <laughs> i got a blackout oh i'm so sorry yeah, like, I zoned out for a good few hours. I was just like, um, I normally put, like, my water next to me and then, like, some craft stuff. Like, you know, I keep everything within range because, my like, my mobility has been a little... So I keep everything within range, you know, charger, chapstick, water, you know, all that stuff. And when I finally came to, I was like, wow, I barely drank anything. I barely did anything. I'm like, whoa, I could... I take showers and pray for the vomit to go away, I'm sorry, and try to sleep it off. I can't sleep when I have it. The pain's too much. Now I purchase a new item, an electric uh, heated eye mask. I wonder if that works. I get so much pressure right between the eyes. It gets so bad. Um, Yeah, last week, it was right, I didn't stream. Like, I was barely getting any sleep because I was in so much pain. Like, I would take, like, uh... Pain, 
uh, you know, over-the-counter pain meds, and it was just barely working on me. I feel for everyone that gets all garbage migraine systems, oh, their symptoms. Oh. It helps with the migraine so much. Oh, I wonder. I'm I'm very new to realizing it's a migraine because like my doctor's appointment wasn't that long ago, and um, uh, this whole time I thought it was just headaches. You know, I'm just like, well, oh, well, I know I have a low pain tolerance, and the way I grew up, it was very much like any form of pain or sickness or whatever. It was like very much dismissed. So internally i was like no no you're fine it's just a headache you know whatever and then my doctor looked at me she's like maybe look up the basic symptoms for migraines because you're getting migraines i was like oh <laughs> but yeah i've been like laying down a lot and just trying to rest um so thank you guys so so much for being patient with me as i haven't been streaming often um because like i go in like Obviously, with like my usual scheduled days, I'm like, yeah, okay, this should be, I should be able to stream. Then I wake up that day and I'm like, if this goes away, I should be able to stream. And I literally wait till the last minute to see, and I'm just like, mm -mm, I can't. Heat and sometimes pressure. I have a weighted eye mask for when mine hit. I will look into eye masks then, because like normal eye masks, I can't really. Uh, no, nah, I don't really like how they feel. They kind of feel a little. Granted, maybe the one I had wasn't the right uh, fabric. It felt scratchy for me. Um, but maybe those. Oh, a heated eye mask. That actually sounds lovely. <laughs> I hate it when it, uh, it's just liners in the back of your head. Yeah! Because, like, I remember I'm like, I, I hate it when it's like, this one's just really, really soft. Oh, that's good! I need to figure out what to do with, uh... It's fabric. Okay. Oh, that sounds lovely. I need to figure out what to do with neck pain because I get like really, really bad neck pain all the way down. And it's just like, I get so stiff. Um, so I've been like doing um, heat and cold, like alternating between the two. Just like, oh, it sucks though. It's like, it just sometimes it just does not go away. I can send a link to the one I got. It's a bit expensive, but for what it's worth, I can feel the cough up. The cost offsets how much it helps. Yeah, like, um, you can put it on the, what's it called? On the Discord. You could totally do that. Probably just chatting. Chiropractor. Hmm, true. I used to see a chiropractor, but it got a little expensive. Um, so I don't know. But maybe I could look into it again. So yeah, now I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the mobility stuff, because it's like, um, I'm trying to figure out what triggers a migraine, and I thought I had it down, but now I don't know, because it's just like literally every day. Just like, oh. <laughs> and it really sucks when I'm just going about my day, I'm walking around, and then before I know it, I get really lightheaded. And I have to, like, grab onto the wall or the counter and just make sure I don't fall. <laughs> I scare Hatsu whenever I, that happens. Because <laughs> he's just like, whoa, what's going on? Could be anything. Food allergy is not enough. Uh, oh, stress, dehydration. Yeah. Hmm. I try to drink a lot of water every day. and But then again, I'm... I have a feeling it might be stress. Um, because, like, well, with... <laughs> My life has been very, very stressful for several years now, so maybe that's it. I'm gonna show you a link to neck and back massager too. It's worked wonders for me. Thank you guys! I appreciate you guys being like... We have this lovely community where unfortunately we feel the pain, different types of pain. Um, I really, really appreciate it. You guys helping each other out. Yeah, I would appreciate that. I don't know how many of, of like what kind of mask I, maybe I will get or a neck, uh, neck and back massager, but I will definitely look into those. Yeah, put it on the... You guys have any recommendations uh, like for stuff that's helped you? Put it in the just chatting. Just totally send your link on there for sure on the Discord. Just set my link on the Discord. Thank you! I will definitely check it out after the fact. Um, and if it doesn't help me, maybe I'll help someone else in the Discord that, that deals with those issues. Let's help each other out with pain. 
This is not fun. <laughs> I posted in cosplays and selfies. <laughs> uh, they have different masks for different needs too. Ooh, I will look into that. <laughs> Memma being a butt and pinky on my shoulder. Oh, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Oh, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your cat. Throto is adorable. Literally butt first. That's really funny. Just all up in your face. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for sharing your links of what helps you. If I come across anything that helps me, I, I will let you guys know in case if you guys, you know, um, in case it's something, whatever, that will help you as well. You also posted the Just Chatting. Thank you! Thank you guys! I will look into those, see what it can handle. I love this song. We share in physical pain bonding. <laughs> uh, fortunately, we can bond, but unfortunately, it's with pain. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so far this so definitely fits this size. I never really had migraines till after the car accident. Oof. Yeah, accidents could definitely trigger them, I imagine. Uh, Fire Forge is the strongest blade. That is such a good saying, Shadow. Oh my gosh, how poetic. <laughs> Heck yeah. Everybody's pain is different. Everybody's experience is different. But your experiences are totally valid. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Fire can also melt down a blade. <laughs> True. That could create something new. I can either make something new or slag iron. What does that? Either way, sparks will fly. Heck yeah.
Almost there. Slag iron is pretty much the melted reef refuse from forges or smelteries. Oh, the more you know. Thank you. Thank you for the bets. I think my child is still on the window, so I'm just like, where did he go again? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Unless he jumped down and I just didn't notice. I don't remember where he is. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been so funny. Um, he's He's gotten big. He's a big boy. Like, not chonk. Like, literally, he's just a long boy. Um, and I don't think he's used to his size, that he's growing up, basically. Because... <laughs> The past few days, he's been like semi falling off the windowsill and like clinging onto it because he would like lay down sideways, not realizing that he would be like slowly pushing himself off because he pushes against the glass. And it's just so funny because Daisy and I will be in the living room and we just see like a kitty booty go down like um, from under the curtain, like him scrambling to get back up. <laughs> We have wide windowsills too, so it's really, it's kind of sad because it's like, oh man, he's like not used to the size of it right now. <laughs> but it's written really funny. I love that ore oxidizes can change the color of glass. Ooh, gold makes red glass. Really? I did not know that. I love watching like glass blowing um, or glass work, like stained glass work and stuff. Um, like stained glass, at least seeing them like how they cut the pieces, and then glass blowing them, taking like the different rods of colored glass and like adding different like uh, stuff to it to change the color and all that. Like I never know what they're mixing it with. It's just like it's so cool. Science. <laughs> glass blowing is fun. <laughs> I love watching it. It's just like oh, it's so fascinating. There was this stand, um, every year at the Renaissance Festival, there's this craftsman that blows glass and that you could just sit down and watch. And oh, I, lo I always love, the seats are always taken, so I'm always standing on the side. I'm always like, what you make it? What do you got? You know? <laughs> and they just talk about their process and stuff. It's so nice. One thing I want to try is work with wood. I want to try, like, um, I just, I talk about it all the time, but it's like, I don't ever get this. It takes a long time for when I want to try something new to get supplies in general. Um, because I have to, like, obviously work with the budget, and <laughs> it takes a long time for me to, like, actually go and, you know, get the supplies. Um, I want to try having, like, a board of wood and, like, engraving it with, like, you know, one of those, like, um, What's it called? Well, you work with heat, basically. You you burn the wood to like, engrave it and stuff. Like, I want to try doing stuff like that. Like, I would like to do, like, um, different, like, artwork on those. Like, I think those would be really fun. 
I've also seen really cool uh, word wood carving. I'm like, oh, I'm not there yet. And uh, knowing me, I would cut myself. <laughs> but then again, you can't do any craft without accidentally hurting yourself. It just it just happens. Surface burning the wood? Yeah, it's called. It's literally called wood burning. <laughs> Okay, I was like, I wanted to say that, but I'm like, what if it's not called that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I did mention I know how to do the wood burning. You did! I do remember that, yeah. Eventually, eventually, I will probably, I, I want to look into getting um, the tools for that, because it just looks so fun. And um, I've been watching TikToks with it, and it's just like, oh, it's so satisfying. Because I'm like, I, w I love uh drawing and i love like doing art and stuff i'm like how cool would it be to like burn the wood and then maybe painting it or something or maybe just drawing it it smells nice too oh i imagine like is it similar to like burnt wood isn't it like similar to like the same smells like when you have like a, a new fire pit or a fireplace so yeah burnt wood lovely smell depending on the wood you're using for sure It's one of those smells I find very comforting and reminds me of the colder seasons. It's one of those smells that you're just like, oh, it's so nice. Check. Depends on the wood. Yeah, I imagine. bothers me that my nail broke <laughs> it's been breaking like it's been cracked and i've been slowly been trimming it as you can see i've been as it's been going to avoid it breaking along the pink so it's just annoying <laughs> i think you might be really good at reduction carving printmaking really thank you shadow you're so sweet oh i i, I want to try it but like one thing at a time maybe <laughs> I absolutely love uh, burnt wood art. One of my coworkers did a wood carving and wood burning art for work. Someone else is taking it home, but I'll have to see if I can snag a picture before she gets it. But it's so intricate and gorgeous. You could do so much with it, and I just love seeing uh, people do that. Um, I've debated also like um, printmaking and stuff like that. Um, I've looked into like making like uh, getting like the rubber stamps and like carving and stuff with it. It's like, oh, that sounds like fun. That sounds amazing, though. Like, um, uh, what's it called? The, your, your co-worker doing all that stuff. Like, heck yeah. That talent, though. I think that was the time. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I was like, ah! <laughs> Beastly, thank you for the gifted sub! Yo, thank you, thank you! Yeah, I've seen plenty of, like, beautiful, intricate work, though, of, like, on TikTok, and it's just, like, it's inspiring seeing creative, the creative process of uh, people do all sorts of art, and just like, ah! Maybe one day I'll try it. Same with clay work. I definitely definitely want to work with clay. Thank you, thank you, Beastly. You are so sweet. Thank you for the gift of sub. I appreciate it. I've done the linoleum carving. One of my teachers is the head of a printmaking class at college. Really? Linoleum carving. Is that what that's called? What I was talking about? Or is it like something different? I'm the kind of person that wants to do a little bit of everything, too. It's what you were talking about? Okay. I don't know the exact name for it, so that's perfect. So it's linoleum carving. Good to know.
I get so inspired by other creators and makes me want to do a little bit of everything. <laughs> it's kind of hard to stick with one thing. <laughs> so, hence the talk about wood burning and uh, linoleum carving. <laughs> Will definitely be easier when I one day have my own uh, closed off studio. That way, Hatsu can't uh, accidentally get hurt with anything I have out and about. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know they have uh, this metal clay you can fire, and it's precious metal. Really? Like, I don't have like a kiln or anything though. <laughs> Nothing that fancy. Okay, before I forget, this is the time. Thank you. No kill needed, really? Then how do you do it? Like, do you just, like, is this something you can, like, because <laughs> I know some clay or whatever you could put in the, in the oven, you know? Is that what you do, or how does that work? Oh! Oh, dang. That was a cut in the music, alright. <laughs> I have, I think I have a little bit of clay left over. It's an air dry clay though. I think I have a little bit left over. Maybe I could practice uh, very pretty music. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Uh, hopefully you can read it, the little like in the corner, what I have. It's from, um, what's the game? What's the game? Oh, I can't, I'm blanking out the name. <laughs> Okami, yeah. <laughs> It's been a long day and my hands are doing more typos. Oh, you're totally fine. Can relate, yeah. <laughs> um, I can't, sadly. Oh, oh, is it too small? Is the writing too small? Is that a little better? I'm sorry if it's been so small. Screen tiny and tired as. Oh, okay, okay. I understand then. Bad combo. Yeah. Um. I'll write down this one for you if you like it. Oops, don't need to cap that. There you go. Words are a construct, and we can construct them how we see fit. True. I posted a pic of one of the linoleum prints in Discord. Thank you for sharing, Shadow. I'll check that out. I vote to be illiterate. <laughs> Sometimes it's e we can tell, like with the typos, what you mean anyway. So it's okay. You're totally fine. Words? Who needs those? <laughs> This is why I craft with my hands, because words are hard. <laughs> I express myself through crafts. I only got three hours of sleep today. Oh, honey, you're... Take it easy then, and you're totally fine with the typos. Oh my goodness. BRB going back to using uh, petroglyphs like the Vikings. <laughs> Between Pinky and Memo waking me up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, we trained Hatsu uh, when we first got him, like, uh, not to sleep in the bedroom. Because he kept waking me up, and I 
I mentioned it before that he when he he would lay like right here um and it would make my eyes so itchy it was so bad like the allergies would kick in so he sleeps in the living room I can't lock them out though yeah understandable because they put their paw under the door and shake it oh my gosh <laughs> I'm so sorry I don't know what you would do to be able to train them to get sleep out of a room. I sleep like a rock, no worries about animals. <laughs> I am not a heavy sleeper. I'm a super light sleeper. So when we first uh, adopted Hatsune, I was getting used to every little sound. I was like so worried he was getting into stuff or... No, he was... Uh, Took a while for me to get used to his little sounds. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and he's he's pretty good. He do behaves. But it did take a little bit of training to get him used to it. Um, we would play with him for a long time before bed to get him tired too. We still do. <laughs> I used to, uh, but lately sleep is so light. Oh, I'm sorry. My dog would walk on my chest and then my sleep no reaction. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're so lucky be sleeping. Happy sleeper, like dang. <laughs> That's cute. I can just imagine your dog just like tippy tapping on your chest. <laughs> yeah, I try to get them worn out before bed. Every animal's different, you know. So hopefully, whatever. Uh, but my cats regroup energy faster than I do. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you figure it out, whatever ends up working for you. If they stay in the room, hopefully they can... Uh, you guys eventually look, or look a, uh, learn... See, words are hard. Learn a system that will help both of you guys to get sleep. Or all three of you guys, I guess. <laughs> because, yeah, that's tough. And you need your sleep. If you can, maybe naps during the day. Maybe they can help. Uh, that might help you catch up on sleep. Um, I hope it gets easier to get sleep. I only recently started sleeping well. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, baby steps. It takes a little bit. I think, uh, the stress isn't helping. Yeah. My anxiety has kept me up before. I uh, have to pack up a whole house for moving. Oh my gosh. Uh, what, a, what to toss, what to box and keep. That is, boy, that's exhausting. I miss having a consistent sleep schedule, honestly. My body is doing the whole, I'm gonna sleep in exactly three hour long cycles at a ran at any random given point, so no REM sleep lately. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I feel my brain, like as soon as I start going like, like dropping, like I'll, I'll lay down and I'll close my eyes. And as soon as I start dropping, my brain's like, hey, wake up, we got this to think about. I'll be like, oh, okay. And I would lay there like, why? <laughs> also, how to box up a kitchen when you're still living there, you know? Oh my gosh, yeah, that was like probably the most annoying because the, the essentials, figuring out what you still need to use, you know? Because I've done that before. I We moved a lot, Daisy and I. Um, just trying to figure out like, okay, like uh, I will not be using this utensil. I could put that away and then like after a couple days, you're like, oh, crap, I needed this. <laughs> Three hours max. Oof. Sorry, guys. I 
they beastly on Discord? Yeah, they're beastly on Discord. Well, I'll let them answer that. I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> if not, then whoops. <laughs> Uh, if you're able, maybe have some paper plates and utensils temporarily until you move, and maybe some once you get to your new place. That way it's ready to go and you can still eat with a plate and whatnot. Agree. Yes, that's a really good advice. <laughs> Especially when you move into a new place, because it's like, it's having to like, unpack right away. Sometimes you don't have the energy for it, or sometimes it's hard to find the box with the right utensils and stuff. I'm sure you know, but yeah, like, uh, hopefully you figure it out, and hopefully it's an easy, easy pack, and you get a system going that works for you. Yeah, it is me. <laughs> Especially if you have a dollar store and you can pick up a party pack real cheap, too. Yeah, you're already doing paper, but the cooking pans, ah, okay. Then those could be, like, you could probably save a box specifically for the final kitchen stuff, like your cooking pans and stuff. The pans, you got a point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe that could be like the la one of the last few boxes you pack. Like you get everything else done, but like hygiene products and like the last final stuff. Same with like your selective amount of clothes that you use. You know, like I wore like the same like two pairs of like leggings alternating between like a couple of t-shirts and then just like um like, as if, like, I was packing for a trip, I had, like, I, I cycled through those outfits while I, everything else was put away. Um, and just kept, like, the basic, basic hygiene stuff, like, okay, this is what I got, everything else, you know, can be put away. <laughs> um, I've been going through food and finding stuff to donate. Yeah, that's the, that's also the good part, like, um... Daisy and I, we donated a huge chunk of stuff that were just like, you, you, you end up finding out like, oh, okay, I no longer need this and someone can use this. Canned food, I know I won't get to, yeah. That's a good idea. And um, perishables, making sure you finish those in time. Um, I always worried about that, especially if like we didn't have access to a fridge right away. <laughs> um, Or packing the perishables and like hopefully like luckily the drives weren't too far from one another um i'm putting those away right away but yeah whenever daisy and i we had to move we made sure like we just finished everything as like as we could like refrigerated sir sorry <laughs> uh uh okra Hi, uh, Okra so much. <laughs> Donate. <Don't eat. laughs> I remember just not taking a lot of stuff when I moved and had to buy a whole lot of stuff. But I didn't have pots and pans at my old place. I ended up finally finding a nice five-piece set for like fifty dollars. Um Yeah, after, especially during a move, you kind of realize like like um uh, our first move, we had a lot of stuff. We did. And then the second move we're like, okay, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. Like, we just got rid of a lot of stuff. And then, like, <laughs> around the third move, we're like, we donated even more. And then we're just like, you know what? For something like, you know, like, uh, your, your nice set, um, you end up realizing, like, okay, um, I can afford this uh, nice thing that I know I'll be using later. It's, like, really beneficial for sure. Yeah, I have a really nice set I'm not willing to part with. <laughs> You keep what you need and what you like, yeah, for sure. I have tossed so much. It it takes a, a trip like that, a moving trip, to realize like some stuff you just don't need anymore, um, or stuff that just doesn't work anymore. Like the last move made me realize I had a lot of clothes that um, just didn't fit me anymore, but I kept because I had that mentality of like, um, because. I, the way I grew up, we, I did grow, grow up in poverty, so it was kind of hard to get rid of some stuff. Like, no, 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 you could use it later. And I'm like, I looked at my clothes and I'm like, mm, let's be real, I won't be going down that size anymore. <laughs> so there was a lot of clothes I donated for sure. Um, 
Mostly because my uh, oven and stove at my old place was basically non-functioning, so I literally had no need for pots and pans. Oh, that's true! It was always cold foods, microwaves, variants, and um, oven and stove foods, yeah. But now we got that nice oven and I'm like, uh-huh, I can't make eggs. <laughs> like, huh, yeah, you might need those pans now. <laughs> <laughs> my oven doesn't work so I use an induction cooked oven toaster oven well there you go but I have a lot of t-shirts I don't anymore but the prints <laughs> that don't fit anymore yeah that's the hard part I really wish I would have at least gotten a toaster oven those are amazing I don't have a toaster oven I have seen those though and I'm like tempted but we don't have the counter space so I can wait um I would love to make a blanket out of them I was actually just thinking about that um, I kind of wish I did, but at the same time, like, you know, like, um, I think I will do those with, like, old band t-shirts I've got, like, at concerts and stuff. I think I will do that with them. Uh, because I've seen some people do that. They literally make blankets out of, like, sentimental, like, t-shirts that just no longer fit or something like that. Um, yeah, I might, I might do that with some of those, because I have a couple of stuff, uh, still using them. Band t-shirts and stuff that mean a lot to me, but I, I won't, I, I don't know if I'd be willing to part with. But everything else could be donated. <laughs> they have air, air fryer toaster ovens, really? That flip up and space saver counters. Oh! My house is bare bones, just in case I have to up and leave for some wild reason. You know, nothing's wrong with li uh, living that life, Beastly, like that minimalist aspect. <laughs> I would buy my sewing machine needs maintenance. Oh, yeah. Toaster ovens are sweet um, when you don't want to heat up the whole house, making pizza when it's 90 out. Oof. I hate using the oven around this time of the year. I have had to use it though. So, that's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> I donated a lot of stuff to one of my old neighbors and her kids. A lot of clothes that didn't fit. Then they definitely needed the clothes. Aw, that's nice. I, um, I'm definitely looking into, um, some uh what's it called places to donate that don't resell things um because i was like i do have a couple of uh shirts that like just didn't sell and i'm like well i don't know what to do with them so, like i could probably just donate them but i don't want somebody to resell it so i'm trying to find places to do that with um that's not religious <laughs> that's the hard part um, I want to decorate, but I don't want to pack a crap ton of stuff when I leave. Oh, yeah. It's kind of just a thing that happens, though, when you make a space that's yours. It's your, your stuff, your home. Um, could be a pain. Maybe, uh, you could pick, like, you decorate, but you maybe pick minimalistic stuff, you know? Agreed. Uh, they don't, uh, hear up the place so much. Ah. Yeah, it took me a long time to decorate and like put stuff on the walls and all that because like I Daisy and I moved so much that at that point I was like scared to decorate because I was like like any we're probably gonna have to move soon or something like that. I was just scared to settle. Um uh, I feel you. I'm not sure what my living situation would be. Aww. I'm too seriously. It's insane trying to find a donation center that won't sell them. Uh, for a lot more than what they're worth at that point. Yeah! Buying a house directly or getting an apartment first. First thing that will be going up is my posters. Oh, fun! And yeah, for sure. It's finding housing. Ooh. That's loud. Um, uh, much rather would give directly to people if I can help it. Yes! It's hard finding that, especially because, uh, during- like, because we're still in the middle of the pandemic, like, was still accepting. I wish they could buy it. I wish I could buy a house directly. Oh, yeah. Um, Daisy and I are like, if we ever move into a house, um, if we ever can afford one, so let's be real, um, we're like, yeah, let's not get one in Arizona. <laughs> I don't want to live in Arizona. <laughs> I have some beautiful mirrors I plan to keep. The others are t too big. We have one big mirror I haven't been able to hang. Um, I used to use because, like, I still do a little bit of dance here and there. Um, so I would, like, 
practice and like 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 it was like my like mini dance studio you know i would put it on there and i would like practice and stuff um but now it just kind of sits there and i'm like oh it's so big and i can't hang it like what do i do with you <laughs> come north we have snow <laughs> you like come here <laughs> we'll see we'll see i mean it's like the everything's so expensive these days and it's like I, I don't know if I'll ever get a house. Maybe Northwest, we have rain. Oh, I love rain. I love rain. <laughs> I have this lovely painting of horses I've had since I was a kid. Oh, that's nice. I think I still have some of my old posters, but I've been slowly but surely getting rid of them. Just because they're so beat up. Um, <laughs> slowly but surely getting rid of stuff. And yeah, it's just hard uh, with like, like we were talking about, like, um, I, I want a lot of my stuff to go for someone who does, like, people who need it that doesn't resell. It's really hard finding, like, legit donations and some of them especially because i've been looking for some part of the lgbtq uh plus community i've been trying to find some that do that and they're still closed because of covid so it's like it's just like oh, waiting i'm waiting for when those open up so i can donate to those uh this is a professional oil painting i'm trying to find out its history oh maybe it, try reading the signature or something sometimes the oil paintings will also say something in the back though I wonder though. Oh, that's so nice. Maybe I'll find the artist. I don't know, sometimes it's hard to read their signatures. <laughs> My signature for sure is not like a true scribble. I like want to make sure you can at least read it. I'm not that creative with creating those really cool, like, oh, intricate design ones. <laughs> Signature is on the friends, but impossible to read. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, then maybe check the back, because sometimes um, the back of the canvas uh, will say. Or maybe you can Google the style. You can look up, like, what kind of style it is. And you might be able to find like artists that like horse artists that paint or like what is it called? Let's say it was a realism painting. Like a realism horse paint artist or something like that. You tried. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean you could share it on the Discord and we can see if we could figure it out. I'll have to take a picture and show you. Yeah, for sure. If you don't mind sharing, maybe we can all look together and maybe you can find the artist. I'm sure this thing is older than I am. Uh, maybe it's an older artist that's like, maybe they don't have a website and it's just like, it's one of those things that they maybe have a collection, like it's part of a gallery or something. Or it could have been someone local, you know, at the time. Like maybe it's like someone that's really, really talented but not really well known, you know? Because there's a lot of those paintings out there for sure. I hope you find them. I really hope you do. <laughs> it's definitely old, old. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, I say you still have it. It's really interesting to see, like, how art is, like, passed around. Like, sometimes, yeah, they get donated and someone picks it up and it's like... They don't have the certificate anymore or something like that and it's just kind of like people won't know who painted it they'll only have the little signature to go by and it's really really interesting how that happens and then before you know it like like oh you they might find out who painted it later and i don't know i think it's really cool that they can just get like passed around because I've, I've, I've been trying to look and like how to donate, mainly uh, local because shipping canvases are expensive. I've been looking into like where I can donate like my bigger canvases and stuff. Um, and I'm just like, I don't know where I could do that. Like, 
because I, I've tried looking into it. I'm like, that'd be really nice, like, to be able to, to just say, here, you want, you want art? <laughs> I'm not putting, I'm not, like, giving away old paintings of, up in Goodwill, you know? <laughs> but it's kind of interesting when you find, like, old paintings like that, and then you just, like, you don't know anything about the artist, but you connected with it, and you held on to it for this long. I think that's pretty awesome. Unless he's not at the windowsill and I'm hearing something else. <laughs> Hard to tell with headphones on. I believe the hello. I saw the tags for your stream. Curious about your divergence? Oh, the neo divergent. Uh. Well, I'm trying to see. Like, I'm trying to remember. I want to make sure I got it right. I did put it down because of, uh, <laughs> I had to see the desk might shake because, uh, hi, hey cat, hello, I like your headband, uh, Dinabai, hello, also hello, and thank you for Pride Man, heck yeah, um, so, uh, I might have uh, ADHD um, and definitely like a little like there's some some I don't know. I'm ADHD neurodivergent at least yeah so we're we're figuring that out I'm figuring that out with like my doctor I'm trying to see like uh, there might be uh, signs of ADHD or um, autism we're figuring all that stuff out it takes time. Also, I like the leaf. <laughs> Looks like Rose of uh, HDC. Sorry, I'm not sure what HDC says. <laughs> and hello, everyone. Well, nice to see you too. Yeah, what does that mean? And thank you. Yeah, it is for a little leaf. Um, I'm working on a mushroom theme <laughs> kind of a mushroom theme leaf bag. <laughs> Half double crochet. Yes, yes, yes. Um. I'm going, actually, where would I mark, mark this? Probably right here. Let me do the one. 
Um, two regular, one short. Okay. Yes, the half double crochet. I believe. That's what you would call it. <laughs> I don't know terms. <laughs> so yeah, I put the neurodivergent tag just so in case, like, so kind of like a heads up to anybody who talks to me. I'm like, just cute, like, give me a moment. <laughs> Um, but for sure, like, anxiety, uh, PTSD, or CPTSD, so. Um, let's go down one. So yeah, that's why it's on there. Um. And it's also kind of like, in a way, to show anybody who is also neurodivergent, this is a safe space as well. Okay, quick rant. I keep seeing all these posts on Facebook about Hob Hobby Lobby is having massive yarn clearances, but like I don't want to support them in any way at all. And people just keep posting about, oh gee, I got a thousand dollars worth of yarn for like 150, and I just sit there like. <laughs> HCZ usually has that slight slant to the bars. Oh, okay. Where you know, uh, majority gripped over it, especially in this month of, of Pride. Yeah, I been avoiding it which sucks because I used to go to Hobby Lobby not knowing all that stuff and uh, it was so convenient with a lot of craft materials that were like easily accessible but yeah like now I just avoid it I avoid it so I mean you do you however you want to do over um I've been hearing a lot of like not so good stuff <laughs> with the LGBT community for sure with them so <laughs> but yeah, I've been, I've just been seeing a lot of people post about it, like like oh I got this there. It's same, I've been seeing a lot. Like, I, I I see got this at Happy Lobby, and I'm just like, mm. I'll do Joanne's and Michael's, <laughs> and hopefully nothing's wrong with that. Uh, I went with my sister-in-law a few years ago to get flowers for her wedding uh, bouquet, but like definitely found better flowers at Joanne's. Just say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with any of my art supplies, like, um, because Michaels doesn't have a, a lot of art stuff, um, that I need, um, I do have a local art shop that I go to for, like, the really, like, specific stuff, and I'd rather support them. Hobby Lobby is very mick, and it's us to its employees and LGBT plus values, but its prices are very much a good deal. That's the thing that sucks. <laughs> like, I do remember their prices, and then, like, uh, a 40% coupon you can use all the time. Every day, I think it was what, like... Um... But... Yeah. My divergence is, uh, bipolar depression. Oh, okay! I see, I see. Is that why you were curious? So, it's, it's such a moral dilemma, for sure. And it's whatever you're comfortable with, you know? Um, some people that are part of the LGBT community, you know, they could just choose not to support certain companies. Some, they're like, well, I know, but I kind of need to go to this one place, you know, like certain big name brands and all that. And it's like, whatever you can, you know, um, it's not that big of a deal for me to not go to Hobby Lobby. Like, yeah, the prices were good, but like, well, I, you know. But yeah, I, I go to Joann's now, mainly, for that type of stuff, or Michael's, um, those two big brands. Um, and if I need anything else, you know, like, I know Amazon has its things, but, like, it's easier for me to do online shopping sometimes, so I do go to Amazon. I just heard an alarm going off and went to check. Turns out Ali had set one and passed out and was sleeping through it. It was very adorable. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, DGK Princess, thank you so much for the follow! Thank you, thank you! Welcome in! Also, Shadow, that sounds adorable. <laughs> I'm always impressed how people, uh, speech stitch like you do with stabbing motion. I'm much slower. Oh! Yeah, no worries. Everybody has their own pace. Like, I don't know how I do it. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, but I know I grip the needle differently than most people I've learned. <laughs> so... <laughs> but yeah... Um, so, too regular, okay. Trying to follow my old notes.
Beastly, my divergence is dyslexia. Audiobooks are my best friend. I remember you were talking about audiobooks last time. Yeah. I don't know if, like, uh, depression and stuff like that or anxiety is considered neurodivergent, but that's definitely in there <laughs> for me. Either way, I put that tag on just to be safe. Catopia 2, hi! How are you doing? Hello, hello! Those of you just coming in, uh, you can probably tell by the title, but this I'm working on a commission right now. I am making a leaf bag that is mushroom themed. So we got the red, the red face and the sides are gonna be a nice uh, beige cream color. And the inside will have pattern of fabric that has mushrooms on it. I'm so very excited to work on it. Uh, young lady, that's how you get yarn tangles pulling out from the skin like that. Like this. Oh, I haven't really been getting any tangles. <laughs> um, I It does not fit in my yarn box, so I've just been pulling it from the middle. So. <laughs> uh, oops, popped the mic. Depression, anxiety, 100% neurodivergent? Oh, okay, then. That's definitely there for me, then. <laughs> Yo, welcome to Crochet <laughs> Better listen to Abuelita. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll be careful. Did the Howard flat, uh, flower, uh, flower hat fit? Yes, it did. It did. I was so excited. Um, I took photos of it basically flat, though, because at the time I could not take any photos with it on or um, getting all my stuff. Uh, like I was debating on putting it on the mannequin head with like a wig or something like that, um, but that didn't happen. <laughs> so we'll see <laughs> but yeah it did fit I was so excited I was like heck yeah <laughs> so if I remember the pattern um, I will for sure be doing um, like other colors well, I can't wait I will put them on the website soon now I finally took it it takes a lot of spoons a lot of energy to take photos of my products I'm like <laughs> posted the painting and uh, in general chat oh thank you yeah we'll see it I don't we'll, We'll see if we can even find the artist. It might take a while. Maybe we'll never find it. But you know, you have this wonderful piece of art. So that's one, one, two, okay. Oof. Is that a four millimeter hook you're using? No, it's a five. It's the one I use all the time. <laughs> Uh, it has such a similar color to it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's a, a tis a five. Oh, does not want to focus on that. <laughs> Looks like an H8 uh, 19, but that size usually isn't purple. Yeah, it's an H8 uh, five point, um, yeah, five point millimeter. It's just the brand on the other side. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus. My camera just does not like focusing on stuff up close. We'll work on this one. Oops. Mm, nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a slightly darker color. Oh, okay. Do they are they in usually in like general uh oh what's it called certain sizes like a general color I didn't know that I 
I always go by numbers, so. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's cool. The more you know, I didn't know that. Yep, purple. So is a is the um the four usually a darker color or or this is a four is a lavender. Ah, okay, okay. I don't think I have a four. The set I got it's kinda like all over the place. Yeah, because I do not have a lavender. Mine is pink. Oh! What size is normally the pink then? This is a three. This is an E4. I don't think I have a pink. 16 millimeter is a peri is a periwinkle purple. Ooh! I would have this one. This is my 16. It looks. This looks like a blue on camera, but it's like definitely like a more of a uh purple i didn't know that i'm fascinated now i'm looking at my needles <laughs> 4.25 she's a yellow oh i don't have pinks 6.5 50. <laughs> a chonky hook, yes! I made a chonky scarf, uh, so I had to get my first- this is my one and only chonky needle. Oh, actually no, you can count this one as a chonky. <laughs> but I, uh, I only used them once for those scarves. Now you know, yeah! 11.5 uh, is a blue. Yeah, this is the blue! <laughs> hey! Any recent paintings? Ooh, um, so I don't know. Well, I did. I have been working on um, paintings on bookmarks. I've been making bookmarks. Uh, I did pride bookmarks recently um, for my Patreon. Um, like, let's see. What? I don't know if I have any. Like, what was the last thing I worked on? I think the last major painting I worked on was, uh, a snake. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it was, uh, I have this, uh, yeah, snake, yeah! No, it's these, uh, pride lions, you can see them on my Instagram. I did it, I happened to have it all done by the, um, Instagram on, uh, for pride month. I have pride lions done, those are my recent ones. <laughs> One, two, okay. Now. Yeah. Now when I'm done with the stream, I'm going to be looking at all my uh, crochet needles and seeing what colors they are. <laughs> I didn't know they were in general sizes. That's pretty cool. Like, I, I was just, I just thought, you know, just there were random colors and you just, I just followed the numbers and the uh, letters. So I didn't know they're all a specific si uh, color for specific sizes. That's cool. My bed is such a mess. I've been cleaning my room. I put a lot of stuff on my bed. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, because it's such a big space that you're like, oh, okay, I could just set this down real quick, you know, and then I just work on this. <laughs> Hopefully get it cleared out soon. <laughs> Do 
Rye makes Reese. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hello, hello. My bed is its own world of soft and comfy. Oh. Comfy, comfy. Oh, that's right. I will I will stop pulling it like that. <laughs> I will try to follow your advice so it doesn't get knotted. <laughs> Hi, that leaf looks amazing. Uh, how long have you been crocheting for? Oh, thank you so much. This is um, a current project I'm working on. Um, to work on the inside. It's a bag. Uh, this is a commission. And I've been crocheting for a really long time. Just um, this... Uh, this type of crocheting is fairly new, I would say. I didn't um, really start doing anything more intricate than scarves. <laughs> um, so probably since I started Twitch, because Twitch got, I saw the crochet community on Twitch and it inspired me to do stuff like this and really branch out on my own. This was a challenge though, because like I came up with a design on my own and trying to remember it is like, because I wrote down my nose, but they weren't as clear. <laughs> so yeah, I've been crocheting for years, uh, but for stuff like this, probably since uh, February last year. <laughs> many blankets, many pillows. That sounds so comfy. I want to get more pillows and have it like be like plush, like just a nest of pillows and blankets, but it's too hot for that right now. <laughs> I had to rummage through the mess to find one of my attempts of headbands. Oh, really? <laughs> you might enjoy granny squares. I recently started granny squares. I like branched out and started, uh, like, I, I found a pattern, a picture of a pattern that is, because I can't read patterns. Uh, I managed to look at it and look at the rows and like count them like, oh, okay, so I guessed and now I can do granny squares. So I'm like, eee, and they're very fun. I had a phase where I did no nothing but granny squares, and I just made them into little bags. <laughs> Thank you, Twitch! Yeah! It was so fun, because I was like, oh man, like, what do I do? Like, like I'm just, I was kind of, like, scared to try anything new. Especially because a lot of people, um, on Twitch, they know what they're doing, and I very much don't. <laughs> the headband that took me four attempts- oh, that's right! So you got it all done? Does it fit? I hope you find it. <laughs> oh, you said you 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 found it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but like I ran into a lot of you guys that were really really nice about it and really encouraging as I was like testing out plushies for the first time, um, and it made me like confident to come up with my own patterns because like. Like, since I can't read patterns, I would just look at photos and, like, try to guess what happened here and there. And it kind of just turned into my own thing, which was really nice. It gave me confidence to do for something that's completely my own, like this guy. I like granny squares because the pattern is so easy without tons of counting. Yeah, but so much variation is possible. Also, a great way to use a scrap yarn. Ooh, yay! Uh, that's what I did. I had, like, little balls of, like, scrap yarn, and I, like, um, I made a bunch of little granny squares. One of them, yes! Yay! It's the one that's, uh, that is too small. Oh, Well, maybe too small for you, but maybe it could be, like, um, children's size? Maybe? <laughs> Uh, I could give it to one many says, yeah, maybe it'll fit them. If it doesn't, it, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, but at, le at least you tried and you figured out something because at least one of them fits.
when it comes to crocheting, um, I kind of just figured out what works for me. <laughs> It's kind of funny how everybody works differently. I remember when I first started crocheting on Twitch, someone told me I was holding the needle wrong. And so I tried it. I tried holding it like this, because that's what they were saying. Like, oh, you do like, or I don't know which way, you know, you point it. Um, but I realized, like, you know, like, this way works for me. <laughs> Everybody's got their own way. <laughs> So. I want to spam sound alerts, but I must save for loyalty bracelet. No, you're so sweet. <laughs> I also know like what you mean because I've done that with like I I have one person I'm following, um, but they have like a loyalty button just in general, um, and I'm like oh, I gotta save those points. <laughs> At first I thought he was a boar. Oh no, he's a bat. I was actually thinking of maybe updating it so it's a little easier to see or maybe something else. I may update. Um, at least the laughing one, and I'm, I want to do one um, that's kind of like an inside joke. Um, instead of brain fog, I, I, keep, I kept saying brain frog. And so I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a way I could do like a frog that like maybe, I don't know, has a big brain or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to brainstorm it. I'll get that across. Because <laughs> like I kept saying like it's so... Shadow, you got a loyalty bracelet! Oh, thank you, friend! Okay, um, I will probably get your shipping address in general already for this commission, but, um, yeah, like, I will send you a loyalty bracelet. <laughs> frog! Yeah, we got my little pride frog at least. We got, we have a pride frog at least, but I will try to see if I can figure out, um, a little brain frog, because it's literally hard for me to say brain fog. <laughs> and let's go! I didn't know this was an option. Yeah! It's a new option. You've been going for a little bit, which is no worries. You had you were going through a move. Internet was spotty, but that it was a it's a new thing. I wanted to do as a little thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, I wanted to do as a little thank you to you guys who stick around and just like even if you lurk or something. I'm glad I said something. No, obviously, thank you. <laughs> I'll be happy to send you a bracelet, Shadow. As a little thank you for uh, for being around. Oh, this song is so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> yeah, no worries. It's a new thing. I'm going to make you a sub emote picture. Oh. A sub email picture. Hmm? I gotta like, I gotta take out my tablet and everything. I gotta brainstorm because I've I've been wanting to do more emotes for sure. Um, so I want to update the laughing one, um, so you can make it into a sub email. Oh. I'm curious what you have in mind. That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I gotta brainstorm some because it's like I have. So these are all the ones that I have. Um. I have obtained yogurt. This is the best thing ever right now. Oh, enjoy your yogurt. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go. It's 1.44 a.m. I I have work in the morning. Oh my goodness, Beastly. That's so late. Oh, I hope you have a functional morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> get plenty of rest, uh, get plenty of rest, friend. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for the gift of sub earlier. Um, I hope you get plenty of rest. I hope you have a good day tomorrow. I hope you have a good shift tomorrow. Um, always lovely to see you, friend. Good night. <laughs> I am on the East Coast. Tis late. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you want the llama? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did I just do? I just shortened it. Okay. Yeah, have a good night, Beastly. Yeah, the llama should be a sub emote. Um, I think the otter and the the octopus doing this, um, I think is like you unlock with biddies. Um, my favorite is giraffe. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> oh, you're so sleepy, sleepy. I'm glad to know it's your favorite. I'm glad. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I got I got a brainstorm of some new ones because I, um, I didn't know that there's more slots open now, so I definitely want to make more, and I would like to update some of them. So we'll see when that happens, though, because it's like I've talked about it before. Uh, whenever I'm on the computer during the day, which is when I do have free time to work on stuff like this, um, I have a very upset kitty that gets that bites me for attention if I'm on the computer during the day, so... <laughs> I believe the email picks are 28 by 28, 56 by 56, or... Um, uh, 112. Uh, I also have some software. If you post the pick in a bigger size in Discord, I might be able to make it into an email. Remember, we may or may not actually use it. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if... I do want it to kind of be in... to fit. I appreciate you wanting to make something, but I don't know if it'll fit the uh, the art style I already have. Um, because I do want things to kind of like be consistent. And I think those are the sizes. I think it's been a long time since I worked on emotes, so I, like I I do know some of them could use an update. I do want to put like um. A crying emote. Um, I did a sad wolf a bit ago, but you couldn't really. This is before I could really. I figured out what works for emotes, like the color palettes and stuff like that. Um, so it's only available on Discord, but not not on here. I was like, yeah, okay, I got rid of it. It was kind of hard to see. I looked it up. That's what Google says. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, okay. So you're probably. I just, the top of my head, I couldn't think of it, but it is animal themed. Or it's animal themed. Yes, it's animal themed. Um, my go-to is octopus, but, um, I did want to have, like, a variety of animals, as you saw. Um, and very colorful, too. Um, but yeah, like I said, we might not be able to use it or it might not fit. Um, I really appreciate it, but also don't worry too much about it, you know? <laughs> I don't want you to, like, take up so much time to work on something like that and we not might not be able to use it. I really, really appreciate it, though. I'm gonna try. Okay! <laughs> Thank you! In general, and if it's not used, it's still at least a, a, a piece of art that you did, and you're, uh, we would love to see it anyway, because it's created by you. And we love seeing art. <laughs> I has idea. Okay! <laughs> So yeah, I might have to do like a late night drawing session or something because that's the only time I can really like <laughs> do any digital art. That's when the kitty's asleep. <laughs>
It's getting there. Oh, this reminds me of like fall, a fall leaf, you know, the color. Slightly back on the topic of surgeries, another thing I don't like is not being able to eat for a long time beforehand, and sometimes even longer afterward if you feel icky after it's all done. Oh my gosh, yeah, how you have to fast? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's the part that sucks, like, <laughs> like, please let me have my food, yeah. It was like, it really, really sucked, because like, especially after my wisdom teeth, like, I could, oh, obviously could only have the soft foods, and it hurt to eat. <laughs> Like, <laughs> Especially because I was nauseous, so it was like nausea plus pain to eat. Like I didn't eat much when I was like after the surgery. <laughs> Uh, I think I've got it figured out with with the yogurt. Just trying not to hit the gaps now. Yeah, that was the problem. I had to be like very careful because it's like opening my mouth hurt. Because like I felt it all right here on my, my jaw. So opening my mouth hurt, and then I had to be careful not the spoon not to hit. God, when I was uh in the hospital two weeks, no solid food it was the worst. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think I remember eating a lot of applesauce, a lot of yogurt, and like, I don't think I, could, I even did soup, but like, a lot of that, and it's just like, <sighs> then the rinses you have to do after, like, oh hey, it's a whole thing. <laughs> I'll have to see how it feels tomorrow. I know for a fact that the discomfort right now isn't how it's gonna stay. Yeah. Um, and it depends how fast in general you'll heal. Because you could be a fast healer, you know? And you, it might be better tomorrow. How do you feel about a pink cat? That's cute! You could tell my emotes I haven't worked on them in a while because I haven't done any cats since I gotten a cat. Oh, <laughs> In general, I would love to see your art. Like, you could share on the Discord. We have an art section. Um, I would love to see it anyway, even if, like, if I do or do not use it. That's so sweet though for you offering to do that. And a pink cat. That sounds adorable, <laughs> actually. <laughs> if I can sleep sitting up, maybe it'll be all right. Yeah, um, I think my problem was with that is like it hurt my upper back. So maybe like have someone like massage like your sh around your shoulder blades and all that after, um, after you sleep, uh, you wake up the next day. Um, cause that was, that was for me, like, sitting upright, cause you have to, um, I would get, like, a lot of soreness and, like, knots between my shoulder blades and stuff. But, um, hopefully sleeping upright will be okay. The one time I don't have enough pillows. Oh no! Maybe take, like, a blanket and, like, bunch it under your pillow and then put your pillow on top of that. That might help. That might work. If you have, like, any extra blankets or something. Oh, for sure, I have an abundance of blankets. There you go. <laughs> Just make a nice big old pile of blankets. <laughs> Comfy cozy. <laughs> Uh 
can never have enough blankets and I'll never say no to one. Same. Um, I just don't have space for it. Like, where do I put all these blankets? <laughs> Yeah, anytime someone gives me a blanket, though, I was like, oh, thank you, is what I'll say. <laughs> Comfy cozy with blankets, heck yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the weather's too hot for one, but, like, um, during the wintertime, oh, that's, like, the best. I put, like, blankets all over the bed, and it's so cozy. Or on the couch, it's like, oh. I mean, there's still a blanket on the couch. <laughs> Although Hatsu's the one that mainly uses it, my cat. That's my problem. I'm working on eventually getting something like a uh, roadie trunk for all my blankets. Just need to find a space for the trunk right now. Yeah, because I have like my, my closet doesn't they don't fit. And I was just not like literally before stream. I was like, I was putting laundry in. I'm like, where did these go? <laughs> Running out of space. <laughs> I did donate some of them, some of the older ones I don't really use. Um. But I'm like, I think probably I would I'd be on the lookout for some, like, especially like Halloween, like maybe because it's my favorite holiday, maybe I'll find some Halloween themed blankets. <laughs> I have one Christmas themed blanket that's like very comfy and fluffy and so nice. And then we got to have like, you know, we have one that's Zelda, that's daisies and <laughs> a super, super fluffy one I got for Christmas. And then a Valentine's one. Um, that's like perfect to just, it's light, so it's like to wrap around in, you know? <laughs> but I think in the future I will be getting some probably like Halloween themed, because I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I have a third paper clip. Sometimes I'll, I'll find like a surprise blanket, like one I haven't seen forever. And so it's like uh, part two of a gift. Aw, that's nice. I still have some for when I was a kid um, that my grandma made. Um, and I'll forever keep those. Those are high in my closet though, so the cat cannot scratch them. <laughs> he loves making biscuits and all the blankets. <laughs> Down. Or maybe in the future I'll make my own blankets. I don't know. I've actually... <laughs> That's really funny. I actually found one. I was crocheting, like, kind of like a quilt pattern. Um, and I found it, and I looked at it, and I'm like, do I even want to finish this thing? Because it's such a, like, an uneven, like, I clearly didn't know what I was doing. I didn't measure or anything. I just, like, made squares and looked at it, and I'm like, yeah, those are about the same size, and I sewed them together, like, <laughs> but I was practicing. Um, you get better, kids, the more you practice. <laughs> I looked at it and I'm like, well, I might as well finish it now. There's only a few squares to sew left. Um, and I'm like, but I have thought about like crocheting, like maybe finding like softer yarn and like really making some. I might do that in the future. Maybe I'll do that. That we could pick like, you know, colors and patterns. I don't know. We'll see. I want to be able to make a blanket. But after the last three I did two years ago, I'm still not over it. Oh, no! <laughs> I made one. 
like really big blanket that I was actually really proud of. It was really really basic though, um, just striped, you know. Um, and it was for um, her, uh, my niece, and I just remember uh, my mom being like, "That's a baby blanket." I'm like, "Uh, excuse me, it's for when she grows up and she can keep using the thing." <laughs> But it was so much work. It took me so long to make it. I was like, oh my gosh. And then um, <laughs> I made two smaller, like actually like small baby blankets. But oh, uh, like it's going to be some work to like keep it even for like a bigger you know, project. So much sewing the biggest blanket together. Oh my goodness. I've thought about like actually quilt making, you know, with fabric and sewing. And I'm like, well, besides a kid sewing machine, I don't have a sewing machine and I hand sew everything. I think I will stick to crocheting for now or maybe eventually knitting. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I have so many projects I want to do, but it's like actually doing them. It's like, oi. I have so many projects, like, I'm already doing. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a creator's thing, like, where everybody has, like, so many projects going on all at once, and sometimes you don't touch a project ever again, or it just sits at the back of your, you know, your room, and you just don't look at it, and then you can, maybe you'll continue in the next five years. <laughs> My old coworker asked me to do that for her twin girls, big enough that they'll last for a while. Absolutely hated it. Oh, yeah, and sometimes it's just not not for you. Not for you. I enjoyed making that big blanket. It was a little discouraging um, because, like, I was told, like, oh, why did you make it so big? Or, like, oh, that's so big. Like, why did you do that? But all I could think of is, like, the blankets I have, like, my baby blankets that my grandma made. And it's, like... I used to put those on my bed all the time, even as a teenager and all, and that's all I thought of, you know, like, it can, it can be a pain to make sure it's even. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to recreate it. I tried, I failed, because I, um, I tried to make another one. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to recreate it again, because I tried doing that similar style for a sweater, making it nice and big, um, and like, crocheting it straight. It was like... <laughs> It was all over the place. It was like, uh. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if I'll ever be able to, <laughs> to do that. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I did have fun with the blanket. Not so much with the sweater. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, maybe I'll try it. I, I've been wanting to try it. Yeah, same. I wish my blankets as a kid were larger. Yeah. They're also really fun to use, like, growing up, like, at, for forts and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Oh! Forever the love of Yarn22, or for the love of Yarn22, thank you for the follow! Hello, hello, welcome in! I'm currently working on a leaf bag! Uh, my mom cross-stitched me and my siblings blankets for each of our births, and they're pretty much just lap blankets now that we're all adults. No, Let's see that you have like a little memory thing though. Yo. That's precious. But yeah, you know, we grow up. And, um, for me, I'm like terrified to take mine out now that I have a cat. Um, so I don't want them to get ruined. I, yeah, I do have some that are a little on the smaller side. But that's okay. Sometimes those type of blankets are perfect for, like, you know, swaddling or something like that. Um, but I like, I like putting blankets on top of, like, you know, my bed and stuff like that. So I'm grateful for some of the bigger ones I have, because I could still use. And then the smaller ones I just keep tucked away. It's 
been a little bit since I done. Uh, a leak bag, how cool! Thank you! Yeah, this is a commission. Uh, this one's gonna be mushroom themed, hence the color. It'll be red, and it'll be beige on the sides. But yeah, I'm basing it off of this guy here that I, uh, designed and made a while back. Um... <laughs> yeah, you have two options. Pink cat paw, or a pink cat. Hmm... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I need a cape for a blanket if I'm asking for one. <laughs> That's always the best, yes. Oh, I don't know, Katovia. I don't know. Because I love kitty paws. They're so cute. A pink cat. I send you both. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I'm indecisive. <laughs> Um, it's been a while since I introduced myself for we got a lot of pe new people coming in. Maybe some people are watching me that don't know me. Um, want to say hello! Welcome to the stream! My name is Selena Coster. I am a professional artist and I love to crochet. Um, I usually say, say I save Mondays for crocheting, but we weren't able to stream Monday. And I've kind of just been crocheting more often now. Um, so welcome to the stream. I am currently working on a commission. Um, yeah, the leaf baggies! I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, love this color, this red. Super, super excited to see what it'll look like in the end. But welcome in, welcome in. Oh, but how many boots? I totally agree. I gotta have a blanket that I can easily wrap around my shoulders and it feels like a cape like you're walking around. <laughs> I gotta be able to sit on the couch and have it completely be able to burrito me if I need to. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a minute. I was like, hmm, hold on. <laughs> the gears were turning. <laughs> it's not letting me send them. Oh. Um, you're doing on the Discord? Uh, you should be able to, like, to, like, do a picture on, uh, the let me see your art. Or, oh, that's weird. Like, I literally see Shadow just showed the shared their last photo here. Oh. What format is it? Is it because it's a, a PNG or a ping, whatever you want to call it? Hmm. 
I don't know why Discord's not letting you do that. I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to work Discord too much with that. <laughs> Uh, is the file size too big? Oh, that could be it. There's just been funky with picture full sizes. Um, even more so lately. Really? Oh, maybe that. Yeah, okay. I mean, maybe at the meantime you could do like a screenshot or something. Um, before you actually send like the actual file. Maybe that would be a little better. Unless it's on the computer, then I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you just still could do a screenshot from the computer, you know? I didn't know that, though. I'm still figuring it out. I've had Discord for a little bit now, and I'm still figuring it out. I don't understand it fully. A little dry. <laughs> Make sure to hydrate so you don't dehydrate peoples. <laughs> oh jeez, hold on. I'm reaching the end of my night, so I'm like, the throat's getting a little dry. Drinking lots of water, but again, eat some tea. Ooh. Is it uh Sh or Shanosaurus? Is that how you say it? <laughs> Shanosaurus Rex or Shanosaurus Rex? Thank you for the follow. I love your username. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's going good. We're almost done with the one leaf for a uh, leaf bag. Yeah, did I pronounce it right? Okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Currently making a leaf bag. This is what it's based off of, but we're making it uh, mushroom colors. And how to go to bed? I have a volleyball practice tomorrow. Ooh, volleyball. Heck yeah. That sounds cool. Um. Well, thank you so much for chatting away with us, Ketopia. Always lovely to see you, friend. I hope you have a really good practice tomorrow. I hope it's productive, it's fun, and that you have a really good day and plenty of rest. Good night! <laughs> I've started working on a pretty big project myself. Ooh, do tell. No, oh, much love! Bye-bye! What project do you have? Or what project are you working on, I guess you could say. <laughs> Yeah, this one's a kind of a big project, for sure. Pride blanket, heck yeah! How big, how big? We are just talking about blankets and possibly making our own, that's fun! <laughs> King size. If you don't mind sharing, you're more than welcome to share on our Discord. <clears throat> I would love to see it. <laughs> Here, let me post the link. Only if you're comfortable, no worries. We have a crafty community here for anybody who does any form of craft and like to share their work. Obviously no self-promo, but like, got any pictures to share? Love to see it. <laughs> Doing like a puff style crochet, so many squares. Oh my goodness, that's gonna take forever. <laughs> no, no, that's awesome. Heck yeah, good for you. 
the blanket talk has spawned a follower from the craft <laughs> and a pride blanket no less that's so cool oh my gosh we got some talented people here forever and so much yarn <laughs> it's gonna be worth it though in the end you're gonna have like a big ass blanket to just like heck and cuddle with oh it's gonna be so nice so lovely unless it's not for you as for someone else then they'll have a nice blanket to use <laughs> And yeah, I mean, totally, for sure. <laughs> um, I forgot what I literally just did. Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, speaking of blankets again, I did see a really pretty moon phase bed runner uh, that I really want to make one of these days. Oh, I love those! I'm self-taught. When the pandemic started, it is for me. Um, I want to do a, a bunch of different pride flag blankets. That's such a good idea. Oh, do you mind if I also do that? That might be cool. Also, self-taught? Heck yeah. Good for you. That takes some skill, some practice, some patience. No, that's awesome. actually really awesome. Good for you. Looking anxiously at all of the other projects I have going on. Yeah, I think I'll do it. <laughs> It just happens, all right? Like, you're gonna have a billion projects. It just happens. Like, I literally, I'm looking at, like, the the botched type of blanket I said I was working on. I'm looking, like, next to it is a sweater I was making. And now I'm working on this! And I have a couple of little ones I will <clears throat> eventually work on. <laughs> it comes, it comes with the skill. Many, many projects. <laughs> Especially if you see something that looks really, really fun to make. You're just like, oh, heck yeah, you just jump to, to that project before you lose the motivation. <laughs> Started with the wonky scarf for my girlfriend. She loves it. I hate it. Oh. <laughs> uh, then from there, I went into Amigurumi, which is what I mainly do, but decided to dabble in a blanket. How long have you been crocheting for in total? Also, uh, go back to the previous uh, comment. That's awesome. We, like wonky scarf you know that's just how it happens you, like, your first project will be wonky but very, it sounds like it's very much loved and that's precious um and amigurumi that sounds really cool i'm like dabbing into into that like seeing how that works for me um and hey i hope the blanket goes well for you i've been crocheting since i was little my grandma uh taught me how to crochet um but this stuff like this, probably, so I, I just mentioned, or not, I just mentioned, actually, it's been a while. I mentioned it earlier in the stream that I've been trying out stuff like this um, since February of last year when I started Twitch. <laughs> I literally started a new pattern last night from Green, Green, Go uh, Green Greening Ghosts, and um, I'm just here like, this is fine. <laughs> that sounds really cool, though. I freaking love it. I love that. Uh, girlfriend got my first Ami as well. Again, she loves it. Me, not so much. Aww. It's gonna happen. You're gonna look at your past projects like, oh my gosh, like I could have done better and all that. That just shows that you're improving. Um, and your girlfriend sounds really, really sweet. And it seems that uh, she loves it, especially because it's from you. And that's the fun thing about crafting. Um, welcome to the crafting world. Um, I, I love knowing that at least during something... Uh, scary like uh, the pandemic which is still going on but with lockdown people were able to pick up new new crafts and new skills um i honestly want to make the first ami again see how much i improved you could totally do that that's also a really fun way to do it um it's that's always i think that's probably always gonna happen you're gonna look at your past work and you're just gonna be like i could have done better and all that but that just shows in general that you've improved that uh, you've grown i i've definitely have looked at my past projects like oof i can't believe i made that but it just shows that you're just getting better <laughs> she's beginning interested in learning crochet so i've been teaching her she's trying to make this really cute elephant on me oh that's precious it's always the first that get the most love though i still have some of my first from just over a year ago and to see the jump in progress is always uplifting that's amazing that's awesome <laughs> and i totally agree um how many booze i totally agree with that and um shonasaurus rex <laughs> i hope that um your girlfriend has a lot of fun with crocheting 
I, I, that's one of my like love languages is, you know, when I have friends or, you know, or anybody I know that wants to learn something that I love doing. I hope it works for, it works out because it's, it can be really, really fun. And sometimes I love my first more than the newer ones. There's that nostalgia for sure that you will always look back on. That's, that's the awesome thing about it. We were watching Stranger Things and she came out of the room with a hook in yarn and was like, Can you make the magic ring for me? No, it's cute. I kept asking, Am I doing this right? It was cute. See, it's a lovely bonding moment too that you guys have. I love that for you. I love that for you. That sounds that sounds heckin' cute and precious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish her luck then. I wish her luck. And I wish you luck too on that like big project. That sounds really cool. Um and yeah, you could always take old projects and try remaking them and all that. And it's really fun as you improve. I know some artists, you know, like 2D artists do this for sure with like, with their work. You know, like, oh, this was from this year and then this is current and they compare the drawings or paintings or whatever. I've definitely looked at my old paintings and been like, ooh, okay, versus now, you know? <laughs> Uh, Onyx Claw Zero, thank you so much for the follow! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! She had a knitting loom machine and she's been learning how to make beanies, so she's been crafty lately. Ooh, I don't know... How does a knitting loom machine work? I have a knitting loom! Exotic Kitty 3, thank you for the follow! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome everybody to the stream, everybody who just came in! Thank you, thank you for joining! We're currently working on a leaf bag! Um, commission for this one's a uh, mushroom theme, so it'll be red, uh, face and back, and then beige on the sides, just like this guy. <laughs> uh, similar, it'll be uh, not similar pa color palette for sure. Words have been hard for me today. <laughs> Hello, I will be looking, but we'll catch up chatting soon, hopefully. I'm gaming. Oh, no worries. Thank you so much for the work. Really appreciate it. Good luck on your gaming. Nice to meet you. Oh, to have a partner that shares in your crafting interests. That way you both can do yarn shopping together and no one will tell you have too much yarn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. No, I'm not projecting. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's, that's funny. <laughs> no, that sounds sweet though. Um... <laughs> Also, hi, Onyx. Yeah, okay, BRB. Okay, thank you for the lurk, Exotic Kitty. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, I gotta count. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't remember how many I'm supposed to do. One, two, five, I think. Whoa, I just totally flipped that needle around. Hold on. <laughs> Exactly! We have so much yarn. That's the fun part, though. When you have a lot of yarn, it's just like, oh, endless possibilities of what you can make. I My goal one day is to have, like, cubbies, you know, like those square cubbies, and have them, like, every color. Just, it's just so I always have whatever, for whatever project I'm going to be working on. Because I have so many ideas, but it's like, oh, I don't have this color. Oh, I don't have this color. Well, then. <laughs> Um, I've started this blanket and I have so much, uh, so many Christmas gifts to finish and all oh, the joys of having ADHD. <laughs> oh, you get it. You totally get it. Oh my gosh. I love making, I love making crochet gifts for friends and family. Like, it's one of my favorite things. Um, I love, like, remembering what their favorite color is and, like, putting it in all that and just like, here, go for you. You know, it's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> oh, and you have, you have plenty of time too, so that's good. Um, you have... You're not like crunching. I'm I'm terrible with time my time management, so sometimes I do it with the last minute. <laughs> when we have our own place, I'm turning a room into a crafting storage. Oh heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Manifest the crafting storage room. I will one day when I have like maybe a bigger apartment, because we have a small apartment right now. One day I will have my own studio space and crafting room. Heck yeah. The ADHD projects, please, the struggle's real. Yes! <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Like, literally, early in the stream, we were talking about how I want to do, like, not just crocheting, like, wood burning design and stuff like that, or working with clay. Like, it's literally, like, 
I will watch TikToks of different crafts and I'll be like, I want to try that. <laughs> I crunched the first year with Christmas. Uh, that's when I first started learning. That was a stress fest. Oh, I'm so sorry. I want to learn knitting. Same. I want to learn knitting. My grandma tried. Bless her heart. She tried. I didn't have patience, but she tried to teach me when I was a kid. I picked up crocheting easier than knitting. Eventually. Eventually I will learn. Belting looks pretty sick. Yes! Oh my gosh! I love seeing how people do that. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey y'all, how's it goes it? It's going good! How are you doing today? Oh. We're talking about <laughs> ADHD and projects. Oh my goodness. <laughs> how we can't stick with one thing. There's so many things to try. Sorry, it was crochet. No problem. <laughs> it's fun. I, I like knowing that um, people are crocheting with me. Oh, thank you. I will hydrate and I do that posture check, though. Thank you, thank you. And then there was uh, the wrap of, of resin. That didn't go very far. <laughs> Resin sounds intimidating for me. I know there's some people in chat that have experience with resin and their work is amazing. I've seen it. Um, for me, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> Unlimited funds. What new kind of art craft do you want to try? Oh. Do I need to just pick one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, let me just my mic. I have 20 projects going, ADHD brain. Oh my gosh, it's so relatable. I have so many just put away that like eventually I will touch. I found a plushie I was working on when I first started Twitch and I never finished it. But I recently found it and I'm like, eventually. <laughs> oh, but that's hard. Unlimited funds is like... Mm, that's hard. Uh, wanted to do, uh, nerdy resin dice, then I just went back to crochet. <laughs> Which one are you doing first? Okay, okay. Um... Ooh. I think maybe? Um, looming. Maybe. Get a big loom and maybe make some blankets and stuff. I think that would be cool. Oh no no no. Uh dressmaking. Dressmaking. <laughs> I don't know how to use a sewing machine, but I will do it. <laughs> Get all the cloth. Oh my gosh, make ball gowns and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all sorts of clothing. I would 100% make a sword. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> That'd be dope. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's gotta be expensive. <laughs> I'm making a blanket currently. Ooh, what kind of blanket? Okay, first two, since it's a turning mine. Uh, the machine sewing and ceramics. I'm in no particular order afterward. Uh, resin, wood burning, wood carving, rough, uh, rug tufting, painting. Literally, the list is endless at this point. Yes, I want to learn how to make... Um, one of my projects I'm gonna do, um, slowly, slowly doing it though because stuff is expensive to get. Um, I'm eventually gonna make hand make though, and I'll have one of those fancy little things that I've seen on TikTok. I want to eventually make a rug. Um, but I will do. I'm gonna do a moss rug. Wish me luck. <laughs> That's my next big, big project. But the um, stuff takes forever to get because <laughs> it is expensive to get a uh, triangle blanket Ooh. what color palette do tell you're more than welcome to share i was saying this to some other people you're more than welcome to share on the discord if you want to share some pictures of your progress or anything like that we have a crafty community here section um where people share all sorts of like we have a lot of people that crochet though lots of support i was what i'm saying We'll be able to go, ooh, and ah, to all your work. 
Only if you're comfortable, yeah. If you're, if you're not one for pictures and sharing your progress, that's totally fine. That sounds really cool. Hmm. Rainbow, heck yeah! Oh, that sounds lovely. Okay. There's two accounts I literally just started following today. One paints hats. <gasps> Ooh, and the other does string art where she wraps string on nailed boards. I've seen those! A painting hats though, I'm curious. I'm always like, yes, give me more! <laughs> I love seeing all the different crafts people can do. It's so cool. I need all the arts in my life. Yes! You get it. You get it. <laughs> It's also inspiring too, and then I like watching people create and like, because I follow a couple other people that also create and then doing the same type of work while watching them. It's really, really fun. So if you're crocheting at the same time I'm crocheting, then hey! <laughs> And if you, uh, for those who are not the crafty type, I hope that at least this stream is comforting and just fun to watch in general. I want this to be a safe space for everybody. Yeah. One leaf. Oh, yes. Oh, scissors. Back had to get comfy in bed. <laughs> uh, had to get comfy in bed. Oh, that sounds lovely. Welcome back. Get comfy cozy. Thank you, thank you! Um, bed club check, heck yes! <laughs> Girlfriend works in the morning, so gotta attempt to sleep. Oh, no worries! Let us know when you gotta log up. No worries. <laughs> My wife works in the morning, too, so... Can't see too late. <laughs> <clears throat> Whenever I'm sleepy, <laughs> I accidentally took a nap, so I'm kind of wide awake. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Naps are lovely, but I do hate it when that happens. <laughs> it just keeps you up. You're like, damn <laughs> Yes, I do. I should have marked it. <laughs> um, I'm going to do this one before I I'll do that. <clears throat> Let's see. 
There we go. Maybe I shouldn't attempt this one. He literally broke my nail. I'll probably break it further. I'll probably trim it in that first. <laughs> so, that being said. Um, uh, wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Honestly, should be working on my Christmas projects. I have like seven people to make gifts for. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you could alternate. That way you're not tired of one project and all that. I need a drink. Go get a drink! Hydrate! Let me check some. Oh, I'm not seeing too many people. Singing of a raid, but <clears throat> I don't see a lot of people crocheting right now. I will go to a fellow crocheter. I was gonna go to a friend, but they're don't look like they're, they're on a break. <laughs> a strong drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> Took like a month break and got uh, sucked into video games. Oh, it happens. <laughs> Breaks are good. Breaks are good. Okay, so my friends. Um, I would keep going, but it's getting late and my shoulder is aching a little bit. Probably a sign I need to stop, as well as my eyes are getting tired. <laughs> um, but hey, we got to do one leaf uh, of a two-sided bag. I'm super, super excited to continue this commission. Um, I can't wait to show you guys the fabric I have for chosen for the inside of this one. It's like mushrooms on it. It's so cute. Um, let me get, uh, let's get a raid started. Let's get that started. Okay. Um, so, I will switch to a different song. <laughs> Grace about to stop. It's looking great. Thank you, Shades. I'm super, super excited. <laughs> I'll do this. <laughs> I can't wait to see you too. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. But hey, we did it. I mean, we had to do a little bit of frogging, but um, you know. <laughs> I hope. Thank you so much for everybody who stopped by as we worked on a leaf bag. Um, to some progress. We're going to say hi to Ciao Bellox. Um, they're our fellow crocheter. Um, right now they're doing some digital art though. We're going to go say hi, be nice, tell them that Selena sent you. We're going to do an Octo Raid. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening or day, wherever you're from. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!